Okay, uh, majority of you have submitted the uh, midterm and also the quizzes. Yeah, so I will do the marking next week. Okay, and then for your exam, I mean, sorry, for your final assessment, uh, according to uh, Mr. Azaim, yeah, uh, so the exam you need is actually ask the uh, lecturer to, to, to what do you call that, to put it inside your rocks and also, uh, I mean, open the link on the 14th, yeah, 14th of February. And you have about five days to do it. Yeah, 14, 6, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Ah, uh, yeah, about five days to do it. And then you can submit. So I will I give you the deadline, yeah, in the, I will inform you in the, in the uh, question itself. Yeah, in the um, instruction itself, okay? So it's actually uh, by next week, I will explain the uh, concentration yeah, of the final assessment. So it's actually two case studies. So there is actually uh, one case study is actually 25, sorry, 50, another one is uh, 50. So there is actually six questions. So one quest, uh, three questions in one case study. Yeah, so all together is six. So uh, the combined is actually 100, yeah, 100 marks. Okay, so uh, no need to send for turn it in, yeah. But of course, I know, yeah, if let's say if you copy, I have also my device of turn it in. Yeah, I can check if let's say I feel suspicious. Yeah, because the way you write and the way yeah you uh, copy is totally, yeah, you, I can see, yeah, because I, if let's say I mark your uh, midterm and also the um, quizzes, definitely I know your start, yeah. So if you copy, yeah, it will jeopardize your marks. Lah. Yeah. So because it's actually based on case study. So uh, for external reading, I will put there, uh, for example, in the question, um, uh, external yeah, reading required. So you can refer yeah, to any uh, internet sources. But again, yeah, you have to paraphrase or maybe you have to um, uh, cite, yeah, uh, put a citation and also references after the after you finish all the six questions itself, okay? All right, so any further question, you can just text me, okay? Okay, so I think uh, still uh, there are few numbers of students still uh, pending for submission. I don't know what is going on, yeah? But uh, I will finalize it on Monday. Lah. So for those names that I put inside the group, so you need to, because you have to bear in mind, I have so many students, yeah? So I need to read, I need to mark. So you have to make sure that you give me a you know, particular, you cannot push me to the corner and then you ask me that, okay, what is my mark? I need to mark and I need to read. So marking is actually very tedious because I need to read. Yeah, I just, I just cannot simply give you marks yeah, by not looking whatever that you have written in your work. So it's not fair. So I want you to, uh, give me a particular days, yeah. So maybe uh, before 14 of February, or maybe because uh, it depends, yeah. Because uh, I'll start Monday on marking it, yeah. Uh, most probably I can finish one day about 20 to 30, yeah. Uh, that because I have two components, so I have to really uh, spend time, you know, in between. Also, I have so another uh, teaching, yeah, job in other university. So, like this week. Yeah, I have teaching from Monday to Sunday. Yeah, yesterday, I finished my class at 11. So I'm quite tired. Yeah, so marking, you need to have a very fresh mind. Yeah, so if your mind is actually very exhausting, yeah, so definitely it will reflect, yeah, on, on the marks given itself. Yeah, so please uh, bear with me. Don't put me, don't ask me. Yeah, give me at least about 10 days yeah, to mark all the 200 plus. Yeah, both component, yeah, quizzes, yeah, quiz and also the midterm. So on Monday, I will uh, uh, put the name, I mean, I will write the name those who are still stay pending for both submission. Yeah. And then uh, try to back up, try to uh, yeah, do it before the final, the final assessment. Okay. And then uh, if you want to submit, I think today is actually a due date yeah, for group assignment. It's okay. Yeah. If you still... Uh, waiting for turning in result from library or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but this is not official. Eh? And because you put my my words to every single thing if you want to extend the assignment itself. Yeah, it's case to case basis. Because some of your 
have you already submitted yeah, the assignment? Yeah, because I've already put clearly the submission is, I believe, by today, yeah, 4th of uh, February. But if you still have, you know, something which is you cannot, uh, sub, uh, you know, for example, pending for turning in from library, uh, that one is actually a uh, uh, main reason that I still can swallow, yeah. But still, you say that, oh, okay, one of my members still pending, uh, you know, I can we cannot contact him, what, blah, blah, blah. You should plan yourself, yeah. As a manager, you should know that the deadline is today. So try your best. Yeah, case to case basis. Yeah, okay. I just like, like to repeat case to case basis. Only one fuller yeah, can submit in the uh, onto the Eurox system. Not everybody. Yeah, because I'll be uh, same goes to like turning in also. Yeah, otherwise your turning in captured will be the similarity will be higher. Yeah, so only one, uh, I mean, of course, yeah, one student from your group can. Uh, submit yeah to your rock so I can see the name yeah of the members in the cover in the cover page so I know that is actually covered yeah for five or maybe for six uh students itself yeah uh okay so I try my best uh, to because uh, next week uh uh I think we're gonna have another class on eleven the second day of Chinese New Year yeah I'm so sorry because uh the next week itself fourteen is already yeah. Um, I mean, the FA is already have to be in the Eurox. Yeah, so for the Chinese students, I'm so sorry. If you cannot come to the class, you can just re uh, review the, the, what do you call that? The uh, video. But it takes time, like, you know, because SKC have to put, uh, to upload. So maybe it takes you about two days itself. But you can just ask me. You can just ask me what is exactly the concentration. So next week, I will discuss on the concentration. Yeah, uh, which is on the 11th. Your, uh, the first lunar year is actually the, on the 10th. So the 11th is the second year. So normally the second year, yeah, is uh, still a holiday, yeah, for the Chinese. Yeah, maybe they, you want to have the gathering with the family, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I'm so sorry because this is what they will be put in the uh, attendance itself. Yeah, I cannot squeeze in anymore because everybody is working. If you are... Not working, definitely we can have class, yeah, after the Chinese video itself. But the, the exam, I mean, sorry, the final assessment is actually have to be out by 14. So time is actually very, very crucial. Yeah, you, did, uh, you can just listen to the video itself. But anyhow, if you still stuck, yeah, you can just reach me. Yeah, because normally I will answer you, yeah, individually. Okay, so uh, today we want to discuss yeah, two topics, yeah, about... I go on. Yeah. I'm so sorry to 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 you know to disturb you. Uh okay, once you find uh once you do the marking, uh is there any attempt uh, just in case if if uh if you want to you know improve our marks? Uh it depends on the final assessment itself. So normally, uh if let's say your marks is uh just a bit maybe uh I ask, uh, I mean, if let's say I want you to improve on remarks, I will contact you personally. Yeah, I will email or maybe I say, this fuller, please, uh, uh, what do you call, not email lah. This, this fuller, please text me. Yeah, to the mail, okay. I ask you to improve on your, maybe your midterm or maybe your individual. Yeah, because I cannot have the luxury because I have too much of, too many of students. If let's say I have 30 or 50, I can do that. Yeah, but I have too many. Yeah, it's actually beyond my reach also. Okay, if let's say, you know, I, I have to be like octopus punya tangan lah. Yeah, banyak tangan to mark the paper because the component yeah. is three. Yeah, I mean the group, yeah, of course the group is actually about 50 only so I can still, yeah, breathe in, breathe out lah. The midterm and also the, uh, you know, the quizzes, yeah, the quiz and also your final assessment, that is actually my bigger chunk. And then I have to, you know, like you, I'm so sorry lah, some of you have to, yeah, you disturb me at uh, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock to open because I, I will never yeah I put it as the, yeah, what do you call that? The submission date is up. Yeah, so you have to inform me. Yeah, I will uh, reset the the date is up. I, I reset the date and then, yeah, so that's why I said, uh, you know, some of you, I think about 10% only, lah, not all, 10% only out of 200 plus. Yeah. Uh, they stay pending for submission. So slowly they submit before the final assessment. 
Okay, so I have I don't have the luxury to contact all of you. So if let's say I feel that you you need to improve on your marks, yeah, I will uh I will text you personally. Okay, that's me. All right. Thank you, Wan. Hmm. Tak boleh lah sebab I'm I'm so sorry. Kalau biasanya saya akan uh, inform. Yeah, tapi. No worries, Wan. No uh, worries. Understand. My right. hand is actually yeah I'm short handed. No worries. Okay, so let's have a look at our. Yeah, our, uh, what do you call that topic? Yeah, about corporate. So last week I talked about, or I mentioned about business. Yeah, so in strategic management, normally we discuss three. Yeah, business level, corporate level, and also international strategy. Yeah, so um, business are uh, the one that you you did is actually more on. I mean, your assignment is on the business level. For example, like SWOT analysis. Yeah, uh, Vario. Yeah. Uh, BCG is actually for corporate for information. Yeah, BCG is actually for corporate level. Uh, okay, the one who actually with competitiveness, yeah, is actually always with uh business. Yeah, corporate is more towards the top management. Yeah, what is actually their direction or maybe the blueprint? Yeah, of the company. And also, I talk about international strategy because next week I want to touch about corporate governance, which is the uh ethics. Yeah, uh, ethical um. Uh, Conduct. Sometimes they call it corporate governance, and also I want to discuss about the uh, what do you call that the control and also structure in uh, strategic management. Yeah, so that's the last two topic. So I covered already. Uh, by next week I already cover eight topics of this. Uh, um, I mean the module itself. Yeah, the subject itself. Okay, so uh, this is actually the corporate strategy uh, definition. So according to Island, yeah, Hoskinson, and also Hitz, uh, this is two is actually the uh, yeah Island, Hoskinson, Hitz, you know, uh, Fred, Fred David, uh, Jones, yeah, this is all very familiar. Uh, you know, published. I mean, the authors, yeah, for strategic management. Okay, so it defines that corporate strategy is a mix of action. Yeah taken by businesses aiming to gain competitive advantage selecting and managing yeah the group differently yeah uh, towards a different business and different market uh, so we're going to learn later why uh, this corporate yeah, strategy is actually uh how what is actually the aim what is the objective yeah of this corporate strategy as again mentioned just now yeah Corporate strategy is actually for top, top management. Yeah, business strategy is actually for execution. Yeah, most most, most probably is actually the middle management. Okay, in corporate strategy, there is actually ask a question that you should know what business should you be in. So this is actually for top management. Yeah, uh, what do you call that uh, decision? Yeah, because like business, they know already. Yeah, what to do, and they just they need to execute on it. Yeah. For uh, this question is definitely is meant for top management. Yeah, how should we manage the portfolio to achieve this synergy or maybe to create a uh, value? Uh, so again, yeah, you definitely if you don't know, yeah, how can you can you how can you execute? So you should know the portfolio. I already mentioned in BCG the portfolio, for example, like Apple. What is actually and you have also did your analysis on the retail management, yeah, retail uh, industry. The portfolio itself is very important because this is where you target your, uh, I mean your revenue or maybe how to reduce your cost or maybe to, uh, allocate yeah resources, your human capital, yeah your raw material, your input, yeah all this is actually in the portfolio. Remember I told you portfolio, yeah Samsung they have so many, uh what do you call that uh product yeah appliances yeah electrical appliances and also smartphone yeah for example. Yeah, so they focus on the smartphone instead of the uh because they started earlier of these electrical appliances like TV, yeah, refrigerator, washing machine. Uh, but they have the portfolio differently on the uh as we I mean on the uh, smartphone itself. Yeah, so this is actually will create the synergy, yeah, into the uh, uh, strategic business unit. So as my as I mentioned, this is actually a part of the marketing, yeah, marketing communication of uh management yeah finance and also accounting yeah subject okay so uh um from the big question itself yeah we go down to the uh, we narrow down the question yeah what is actually the stage of uh, industry value chain that you should participate for example apple yeah they actually uh have yeah uh, control their value chain yeah Starbucks also control their value chain itself 
yeah, because this is what makes them can reduce their costs. Yeah, like uh, Starbucks, they have the factory in Fuzhou, yeah, Fuzhou, uh, Foxconn. So, uh, yeah, and they also have uh, also, yeah, um, factory in Taiwan. Yeah, you'd be surprised that we they also have in Malaysia. Yeah, so um, certain I, I will uh, show you, yeah. Uh, for example, that their speakers, yeah. Um, exactly, if you open it, yeah, because one of the YouTube, yeah, this is actually in Malay Mail back in 2022. So when they, um, I mean, open the speakers itself, yeah, that is actually one particular uh, written, yeah, this is actually made of Malaysian. Yeah, that means the, the product is actually from Malaysia, made from Malaysia, yeah. So they have to diversify, yeah, because they need to reduce the cost. Yeah, they, they, they diversify the component. For example, in uh, Foxconn uh, and Fucho, yeah, they have they, they actually uh, I mean prepare or maybe they assemble the uh, iPad this iPad itself. Yeah, or maybe certain uh, microchips. Yeah, certain uh, uh, what do you call that uh, chips? Yeah, that required yeah for smartphone or maybe for their audio, or maybe for their camera. Yeah, so all of it is actually, the factory is actually out of America. So this is actually how they control the value chain. From the manufacturing up to the retailer, they also have, they actually control their retail also. Same goes like Starbucks. So when you control their value chain, you will reduce the cost, especially. Yeah, uh, and also you can control the quality. Yeah, not to say the cost to the customers, but cost in making the product. Yeah. Okay, what range of product and services we should offer? Uh, so this is again the uh, uh, question for corporate strategy. What product, what service that they should offer? And if let's say, yeah, they move, for example, like uh, Apple, they have in Fuzhou, yeah, uh, in China, okay, uh, Foxconn. So why they move to uh, to China? Yeah, because the uh, maybe the cost of uh, I mean the labor cost in America is actually very expensive or very high, yeah. Uh, so that's why they divert or maybe they go to uh, other countries yeah in order for them to uh, reduce the cost of making the product so, okay so that is actually the corporate strategy so basically this is a big picture or big question lingering yeah uh, the question itself yeah that the management the top management have to answer okay okay so the synergy uh, the value um, that you have, I mean, uh, the, the, the business yeah, should have the, to create value. Eh? So how this synergy help yeah, uh, to, um, to be more competitive? Yeah, synergy in a business context means the cooperation or interaction of two or more businesses, they perform more effectively. So sometimes you have to work, for example, that strategic alliances between Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble is actually a bookshop you know, a, a company like uh, uh, MPH, yeah, MPH also, they already, uh, I don't know, in Putrajaya, if I'm not mistaken, they already closed, yeah, but they still have it in uh, Mid Valley, if I'm not mistaken. If you've been to Putrajaya, it's actually the MPH is so big, yeah. So the synergy itself is actually when they uh, do, yeah, the strategic alliances, Barnes and Nobles, yeah, or maybe they do the joint venture, for example, Sony Ericsson. Yeah, Sony Ericsson, if you're born in year to 90s, yes, yeah, so definitely you know what's actually Sony Ericsson. Yeah, at that time, Sony, yeah, is actually very good in the audio and also the camera. Yeah, but you have don't you don't say that oh so the camera 90s is the same like the cameras now. No, the technology is different. Yeah. And then uh one thing about Sony, their audio is actually very good. The camera also is actually very good. Yeah. And Ericsson is actually third. Yeah, um, brand who actually very big in the market at that time, during that time, yeah, during 90s. So they joined venture. So uh, I'll give you uh, another example, yeah, of uh, this uh, joint venture itself later. Yeah, so this is a synergy that they want, yeah, because uh, if let's say you want to tap into a new market, yeah, for example, like Suzuki in India, so they have to, uh, you know, uh, what it called, they have to be, the synergy have to be there, yes, because sometimes when you wanted to tap to uh, target a new market in, in other countries, so you have to work with this particular, yeah, like uh, Foxconn in China, yeah, or maybe Malaysia, we have the yeah, Geely and also the Proton, yeah, so this is a synergy, because Geely, 
definitely they don't know what is actually going on or the, the target market in Malaysia before they join. Yeah? So when they join with Proton, so they will give, they share them their, uh, I mean, the, their technology. Yeah? Yeah? And then also uh, Proton use that particular technology yeah, to come up with X50, yeah, X70, X90. Yeah? So this is actually the synergy that what uh, the corporate strategy is actually aiming for. Yeah, so there is actually reason, yeah, to be to create value, yeah, maybe in that particular country, but and also for yeah, uh, uh, local and also international, yeah. Okay, so for example, yeah, why uh, synergy is very important because to a larger company want to have if acquires that means they buy over, yeah, a similar uh, a smaller company and then they can, uh what you call administered, yeah, the accounting and also their human resource by combining, yeah, the operation or maybe they reduce the marketing expenses, yeah, uh, since they have the product almost the same, the product together. So they will buy over. This is horizontal. Try to remember what I said last week about horizontal. So that means they buy the competitor's company. So like big, uh, small, small, I mean, sorry, big company, they will buy the big company, uh, the small company itself and, you know, they will expand their business. That is horizontal. Yeah. Okay. And then the focusing on corporate strategy is actually about diversification. So you, when you always, when you talk about corporate strategy, always in yeah, you put it into your mind. It's actually all about diversification. So diversification. Remember, uh, I discussed last week about and soft metric, diverse new market, new product. Yeah. Remember that one is actually why we need to diverse because sometimes you know this thing is actually one of the way. Yeah. Uh, we want to tap into uh, a new business or maybe a new market, your target market. Yeah, so that is you have to diverse. Yeah, in that such way. Okay, that is actually corporate strategy. Okay, now we go to diversification. This is actually a main strategy for corporate. Yeah, so in business, yeah, you can see, yeah, there's a lot of uh, business, business level. There is a lot. The one that you did for your analysis, you'll be thanking me one fine day. Because I give you the combination of business strategy and also uh, corporate strategy itself, corporate level strategy. So from there, you if you are the top management, this is actually what you do. If you are middle management, this is what you do. So at least you know what is going on. Yeah, what is actually that your company is doing. Yeah. So SWOT analysis is just a general, but when I uh, teach you about IFE and also EFE, so you know well that means. And then I teach you about TOWS, T O W S last week. Yeah, you did the um, uh, exercise in the class. So that means you know what is actually going on. Yeah. So uh, from the SWOT itself, you narrow down the strength. Yeah. And also opportunities. Yeah. Strength and also threats. Okay. Uh, witnesses and opportunities, weaknesses and threats. So this is actually you can combine yeah, the internal and also the uh, external opportunities. Yeah. Ex sorry, ex external uh, environment. Yeah, from the tools itself. Yeah, so and then you learn about mission st mission statement. Yeah, so why I ask you to do the uh, burn uh, make gainage? Yeah, because from there you will know the self, the nine element. Yeah, so meaning that some companies yeah they uh forego or maybe they are not focusing on their mission statement because the thing the the nine element is very important because. You tak boleh shock sendiri tau because you also have your stakeholders, your customers, the media, the public, yeah, the your competitors is also looking at your bank uh, mission statement. So from there you will create a very yeah good yeah uh, what do you call it added value yeah to your product, to your services, uh, to your employee, to your stakeholders. Yeah, so please off your mic if you want to. Yeah, so make make sure you off your mic, please. Yeah, it will disturb the rest. Okay, so. That's why I, yeah, I put all these things in your quizzes, in uh, and then your midterm is Volkswagen, so you learn about uh, RBV, yeah. So the one that I asked you to do is just for uh, the, the intangible and intangible, yeah. The varial one is actually you do it in the group, so it's actually together, yeah. It's actually a one big uh, flow of uh, RBV, yeah, resource base, okay. Uh, resource based value. So the one that I asked you to do in the midterm is actually the intangible and tangible. Yeah. The one that I asked you to do in uh group is actually vario. Vario is actually for competitive advantage. Why? Because RBV is actually very big. 
yeah rbv is actually very big so that's why i break down yeah all these kind of things yeah so you can see the flow is like, uh, when, when you did your analysis yeah, when you already finished conclusion you will understand better what is actually this analysis that you prepared yeah for the past one month itself yeah so that is actually how i want to aim you to understand yeah strategic management is not an easy subject yeah it's actually no it's actually a six credit for information if you look at your your uh, coding it's actually six yeah five six something the numbers the second number is actually they give you six credit hours yeah so six the rest is all three marketing is all three yeah but for strategic management is six okay so now we are moving to diversification so diversification is actually uh what you call that if you want to grow to a new business that are either related similar or sometimes it's not related yeah or they call it unrelated so different okay different from existing business it can be similar it can be not similar okay so this is actually will allow the firm to create value by productivity using excess resources so whatever resources that you have maybe you have it in locally or you can have it yeah for example like apple they have it china yeah Fu Chao, and also in taiwan they also have south korea they also have it in malaysia it'd be surprisingly yeah they also have it in japan they are actually yeah they're diversing all this geographical area because they want to have a technology itself they want to have the lower down on the resources especially on the labor yeah for example like uh japan even though that yeah but they have the resources there they have a lot of resources there so it, that's why they they have yeah uh, the company or maybe the manufacturing in that particular area yeah so that is actually how yeah um diversification is all about yeah about malaysia i will give you the list yeah you be, i also will surprise wow no wonder i mean malaysia also we they have yeah but a certain component yes yeah, certain component not all yeah okay so the diverse firm operates in several several different unique product market yeah for example as i mentioned just now yeah corporate is more on division uh, decision side yeah the blueprint yeah and also the business level is for the competitive yeah advantages or maybe the competitive yeah uh, the one that you are actually prepared already yeah okay so uh, there is three yeah diversification that involve yeah because why this is to mitigate yeah to mitigate the risk because the risk you cannot just uh, put all yeah whatever in one bowl yeah you need to have separate bowl because the risk yeah you can handle separately because if you put all these things yeah your food in one particular bowl if anything if the bowl yeah uh you know pecah whatever that means your food is already gone yeah so you have to make sure that yeah you mitigate the risk in business you have to mitigate if that's your company is big even if you're talking your company is small yeah of course you need to have your other yeah strategy also so this one is actually your company company is actually expanding yeah so um of the company here yeah, operating in one particular industry so if the industry experience issues of slowdown yeah being in the other industry can help soften the impact mm. so maybe unrelated one sometimes like coca-cola for information coca-cola they have uh you know they already have uh, i think acquired or maybe uh they bought over yeah uh last time columbia pictures yeah that one later i will show you yeah what is actually i mean i will explain and then and then after that they sell back to sony yeah the japan company itself so now columbia is owned by sony pictures yeah so the related diversification is actually for example yeah industry like volkswagen acquired audi yeah volkswagen acquired audi okay that is actually like uh volvo also yeah volvo also like geely bought over not the the whole component yeah, like commercial still owned by Volvo, like the uh, the truck you know all this commercial i mean the whatever the meaning that the uh the lorry itself is yeah, still owned by Volvo lah. Uh, like passengers car yeah so Gili already have that portion yeah they already bought yeah Volvo so you can see like uh because Volvo is I mean, Geely want to reduce something like luxury car to the Chinese, yeah, People Republic of China, yeah. So one of the way, yeah, uh, is actually to 
acquire yeah Volvo the passengers car itself yeah so from there they design the new uh, look of the Volvo itself and then they sell to the Chinese those who actually uh, you know one thing or those who actually yeah uh, have the needs of having the luxury car yeah so because Volvo the technology is actually good yeah for example like yeah people say that if you bank Volvo car yeah uh, that your car will be dented the Volvo still I mean they they are they have a very good technology on that yeah so that is actually how Geely yeah uh, position the Volvo itself to the uh, to the to the market of uh, People Republic of China yeah okay so the related one we already done unrelated something like yeah Amazon purchase the whole food yeah so if you look at yeah uh, the picture itself this is uh, the whole food is owned by Jeff Bezos yeah Jeff Bezos itself Amazon owner yeah so as you can see this is actually uh, something which is uh, not related to their business yeah Amazon is actually like e-commerce yeah for example like um say uh, uh Tony Fernandez is actually from A line yeah Tony Tony Fernandez bought over or maybe they have their own yeah retail shop or maybe they have the uh for example uh like food panda also yeah they also during covid lab but i don't know now what is actually going on yeah about uh that particular uh what do you call that because i remember last time yeah in the picture whereby tony fernandez also yeah uh what do you call that uh he is actually you know the photographer took him yeah uh with the motorcycle and then he he sent the yeah the uh, food yeah delivery to to the customers yeah during covid i think back on 2021 yeah. okay but i don't know what happened i, I don't read well uh, about the yeah about um this a asia yeah uh, food delivery services i'm not really sure what is going on what exactly happened yeah so that's unrelated yeah from airline to food delivery yeah from uh yeah e-commerce to uh you know uh whole whole food yeah which is they're yeah, selling yeah all this kind of um you know retail yeah uh product itself so something which is not relevant so that is sometimes it can make uh it's actually make a good effort because amazon the name is already in, uh, very famous yeah uh because of that people still believe yeah the quality of the whole food but sometimes it become very disastrous why because they don't know yeah or maybe the company is actually spending their money uh yeah because of different technology and they are not aware of technology they are not good in technology so it become yeah uh that means the the the, the i mean the, the business is actually failed yeah because they are they don't understand about their business itself yeah because they are not related geographic diversification for example like yes yeah, Starbucks, yeah uh KFC, kfc mcd yeah they operate in a different geographical market yeah, because they want to expand their business, they want to find a new target market. Yeah, so there's geographic diversification. So, uh, you will see again this thing. Yeah, in next slide because I want you to understand better about this diversification. This is more sometimes the mixture of um, what you call that local and also international. Okay. All right. So please keep on. Yeah, because we, I have about 200 of uh, four students. So make sure you write your name. Yeah, the uh, SKC admin will yeah, uh, copy and also will take yeah, on today attendance. So make sure yeah, you write. So related diversification, yeah, for example, uh, means adding new product or service that are similar yeah, to the existing one. Yeah, for example, yeah. The car manufacturer might diversify into EV, yeah, electric vehicle, yeah, e-car itself, yeah. Okay, this is an example. Honda Motor Company provides a good example of leveraging a core competencies to related diversification. So they have, yeah, motorcycle, yeah. They started with motorcycle, yeah, Honda, Honda Cup lah, yeah. If you, if you know how, yeah, uh, the business, yeah, they started with Honda and then after that. They develop uh what do you call that the build small and reliable engine, yeah. Then diversify, 
yeah to uh, all this kind of vehicle lah yeah passengers car and then loan mower yeah loan mower boats yeah so that means they expanding their okay business to other product line yeah same goes like apple yeah same goes like uh you know so many yeah uh brand yeah for for apple also they have for example yeah from uh what do you call that it started with computer yeah and then after that they introduced ipod yeah and then after that they introduced smartphone now is actually and then after that uh what um uh, you can see that they are actually moving here yeah, to uh, iwatch and so many products yeah that is actually unrelated so they mean this is actually they go beyond yeah because they know their their name is actually yeah in the market so this is actually opportunity for them to spread their wings yeah in business okay so that is related now we move on to unrelated yeah which is for example like pharmaceutical company they diversify into the cosmetic cosmetic business yeah a so pharmaceutical company is actually like they actually are looking for new formula yeah to combat hiv viruses or maybe covid 19 or maybe certain viruses or maybe certain bacteria that this is their job yeah to combat or maybe to to get a formula how to reduce yeah by having medication by having certain or maybe they will yeah uh promote yeah uh for example they are actually involved in healthcare business but now uh, cosmetic is another uh businesses so if let's say for example if they are okay fine yeah that means the business can be accepted but sometimes yeah, as i mentioned many of the uh business unrelated diversification will fail yeah because they don't understand the business well they don't know who is the target market they don't know their product yeah how to sell their product how to promote their product they don't know the technology well yeah so for example as i mentioned just now coca-cola purchased columbia pictures at 750 million in 1982 and then after that yeah luckily that coca-cola sell back yeah uh, sold back the business to sony at 3.4 that means they are making a lot of money within uh, after seven years from 1982 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 that means 1989 they yeah they sold off to sony so now columbia is owned by sony yeah so you minus lah yeah 3.4 minus 750 million is billion you know 3.4 billion and million of course nine zero and also seven uh seven zero is different yeah so they're making a lot of money so coca-cola is actually making a very good move yeah by but yeah by selling back yeah to the sony itself yeah so why because coca-cola is actually beverage yeah from the beverage kind of industry and then they purchase uh, entertainment yeah for example like uh, columbia pictures so of course maybe they actually cannot yeah they cannot sustain the business itself yeah so that's uh, that is actually example of unrelated diversification okay now we go to geographic yeah uh this is actually uh, the method that can be uh to uh, reduce the overall risk especially in production yeah so uh, geographical diversification is the practice of diversifying an investment portfolio across different uh, geographic regions to reduce the overall risk, yeah, to increase the return, yeah. So they, uh, they, the method can be used by both private investors and also companies, yeah, to limit the and manage the risk, yeah. So it can be uh, the risk of political and also economic. It can be forces measure, yeah, major, yeah. Uh, this is actually uh, French words. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I I I check. It's actually major, yeah, major, yeah. So that means it's actually any catastrophic, yeah. For example, like flooding, yeah, droughts, yeah, uh, kemarau, banjir. Uh, that is actually something that we cannot control. This is God's. Uh, hands in uh, hands itself yeah uh, that is actually sometimes you need for example maybe in that area yeah uh, for example philips yeah philips uh that's why yeah sony ericsson uh have joint venture with sony yeah sony and ericsson because philips is actually one of the if you know philips brand lah, yeah? philips also is actually one of the uh you know very strong brand yeah in the market 
So Philips was uh, the factory was caught on fire at that time, like during nineties. Yeah. So I will show you uh, the about the joint venture itself. Yeah. Okay, I will explain about this. Yeah. So Philips is actually one of the uh, suppliers for uh, Ericsson. So the factory was on fire. Yeah, caught on fire. And then they have they don't have of course yeah because Ericsson is actually the third, uh, very high brand in at that time it's not smartphone it's actually handphone yeah, so they opt to uh join with Sony yeah so this is actually the way how uh they work with Sony itself yeah Sony company okay because of the catastrophe yeah because of the fire itself yes so that is actually. Yeah, so the uh, forces major is actually uh, like tsunami, earthquake, yeah, riots, yeah, revolution, uh, you just name it. So this is actually an example of uh, forces, yeah, catastrophic or forces major. Okay, so you have to go to another countries. Yeah, for example, yeah, maybe because of the riots or maybe because like in Nigeria or wherever, yeah, in a country where actually always with yeah, civil war itself. Yeah, so people are so scared. So they don't want to be because their their employee also will be threatened. Yeah, by the war or by the riots or by the earthquake. So they move up. Yeah, from that particular countries to another countries. Okay. Okay. Now we how to implement. This is actually again I will touch this on uh international strategy. How you need to implement corporate strategy. So there's so many implementation that you can do. Yeah, for example, the internal development, strategic alliances, joint venture, merger and acquisition. Yeah, so later we take a break. Uh around 9:30 or maybe yeah, 10 o'clock. Yeah, depending of uh yeah, I, I will I will prompt you lah. Yeah. Okay, so once the firm decides which corporate strategy to pursue, yeah, so they have to implement the next strategy yeah so what uh that is actually uh in international there is actually more yeah international there is actually more okay internal development strategic alliance joint venture merger and acquisition this can be local this also can be international yeah international strategy okay so for example international internal development so they can have so apple yeah they are using their their, their fame yeah that means their name because they are already very they anchor the market already so they use yeah for example from uh computer to uh music industry yeah for example ipod so ipod now is actually changed to yeah they already uh you know upgrade uh, the the ipod to airpod a i r p o d yeah okay so when deciding what business to be in sometimes an organization chooses internal development which is means that they develop and launches a new business themselves. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, they have they need to have a strong entrepreneurial orientation. That means their uh, reputation itself, their technology, their people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as these implementation methods is the same processes that start with a new business. So as good as zero. Yeah. So that means you need to study, you need to have the R&D, yeah, research and development, you need to have the people, you need to have the expertise, yeah, you need to have the money, the investment, the fund, yeah, you need to have your target market, you need to know where is, I mean, the, you need to uh, introduce, yeah, for example, like giving awareness about, for example, how to use that new product itself. Uh, so you have to invest a lot. Yeah? So the firm may uh, select this method if they have sufficient resources and capabilities okay and then they can hire the expertise and then they can have the knowledge to develop the new business so they need to study yeah otherwise it become uh you know they will they will fail in the business but let's say you don't study well okay so this is the one that i said about apple yeah so they invest internally yeah why because they have already uh all this yeah they have the people they have the resources they have the capabilities yeah, so they have the R and D. They have did. Yeah, uh, yeah. They have done the research. Okay, so uh, they are doing well. Okay. Now it's actually strategic alliances. Yeah, alliance. This is what I say, Barnes and Noble. You know. Uh, okay, and then uh, Barnes and Noble is everywhere in America. Yeah. Okay. So yes, Jane. Anything. 
You want to give, you want to shoot a question? Please, Jane, off your mic. Okay, Barnes and Noble. Okay, so we have also in KLCC like uh, Kino Kunuya. Yeah, it's actually like uh, uh, they sell books. Yeah, Kino Kunuya. It's an online store and they also have uh, books. There's a lot of magazine, music, CDs, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so that's, uh, if let's say they want to um, have strategic alliance yeah, with yeah, the drink, because people will drink and uh, when they read their book, so they need to have the coffee. So coffee will yeah, definitely would, will uh, regulate your hormone, your hormone, your, your balance, your hormone itself early in the morning. So that's why yeah, people are, you know, you can see coffee can be, you can sell coffee all over the world. It's actually, yeah, it's actually like a booster of our uh, morning booster itself. So everybody, yes, yeah, so like me, like some, I used to drink coffee, but nowadays I have to minimize my uh, caffeine intake. Yeah. Okay. Because, you know, I have uh, gastric, yeah, gastritis. Okay, so when you have coffee, yeah, for example, and when you drink coffee and also when you read, definitely, yeah, the sensational hormone will be working and also you will also, uh, yeah, love to read, yeah, with the coffee itself. Yeah, so Jane, please off your mic. Yeah, okay, that is actually how these two is actually um, work together. So when you read and you drink a coffee, so that's why it's actually, yeah, they, they know that this thing is actually, yeah, it's actually uh, remarkable. They, they can work on it, this relationship. Yeah. So Barnes and Noble is actually. Jane, Jane. I mean, please, off the mic. I, I cannot press the this one. I cannot uh, instruct. Ah, okay, can. Okay, so that is actually strategic alliance, yeah. So um, two company work together, yeah, mutually benefits the contract, yeah. So that means they agree on share uh, the to share the expertise, yeah, knowledge, resources, supply chain activities, distribution, channel, research, and also development, yeah. So that is actually strategic alliance. So they are not together, yeah. They are not together. For example, maybe I did like this, ah, yeah. So that means whatever money, yeah, for Starbucks, they, they, they put it aside. Yeah. Uh, of course, Barnes and Noble. So that means to the end, yeah. So for example, uh, for for example, yeah, they can promote, yeah, for example, like uh, Barnes and Noble promote, yeah, the Starbucks logo, yeah. Uh, and that particular uh, uh what do you call that? Uh bookstore itself. Yeah, or maybe they can have, yeah, uh another activities, yeah, for Barnes and Noble, maybe certain. Like uh, they want to promote, yeah, uh, for the for the children to read, yeah. So they can promote sabab also. So this is actually something which is, yeah. But of course they are they are different in the way of you know their profit sharing. They will not share, yeah. They share certain expertise, knowledge, and resources, but not the the revenue. So revenue will be separated, yeah. Revenue will be separated. Kopitiam uh, nasi lemak. That one I'm not so sure lah because I'm not really knowing yeah what is actually either their strategic alliance or maybe they are yeah I'm not really sure yeah so because I need to read more about their business yeah business model business strategy itself something that I'm I'm not sure I will not say yeah okay but this one is actually yeah they separate the profit yeah they separate but of course something like they are whatever. Uh, channel distribution whatever is actually the same yeah that means they not the same that means they share yeah okay so Barnes and Noble and Starbucks they have the strategic alliance whereby Starbucks put their coffee shop in the Barnes and Noble bookstores Subway and Petronas um ah uh, something like that lah that means they have uh what you call that the um, they can promote Subway yeah or maybe uh but then their profit, they are not, yeah, they are not sharing the same. Yeah, they just work together in the sense of maybe because of channel. You know what's a channel? Channel to tempat. Yeah, channel. It can be uh, channel. It can be uh, because of that. Because of uh, they want to pen they want to penetrate yeah into uh 
because Petronas is actually something, yeah, whereby um, the company, yeah, they need also business, they need also uh, other business to park, yeah, or maybe to have in that uh, particular company of them. So that means people is not only, yeah, uh, fill, yeah, the petrol itself. Dia bukannya nak beli minyak saja, and then they can go and eat in Subway. So it's actually a win-win situation. Yeah, it's a win-win situation itself. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Microsoft and Adobe, uh, Adobe, I think because uh, Microsoft, uh, Adobe is a program. Yeah, so maybe they are, uh, maybe they are working together. So maybe they are not strategic allies because uh, it's like, uh, because Microsoft, yeah, they have, maybe they bought or maybe they have uh, the, app, the, the apps itself is actually, yeah, they, I don't think so, it's actually Alliance. Because Alliance is more on focusing on promoting, yeah, because maybe I think they buy that particular product itself. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm so sorry. I cannot answer this, yeah, because I don't understand the, the uh, model, the business model itself. Because like me, yeah, my understanding of alliance is actually more towards something to promote the product into that particular location. Yeah, location itself. Yeah, for example, the adopt is actually very difficult to separate the revenue. So, macam mana how, let's say, our, I use the, uh, you know, uh, adopt and how I need to separate the revenue itself between these two. Yeah, so it's very difficult. Yeah, so that one is actually maybe like they have the integration itself lah. Yeah. And like one of your friends said, it's very difficult if let's say uh, you have that because yeah, Microsoft, if you want to buy, you have to buy from Microsoft, is it? Because nowadays there's a lot of adopt also which is illegal. Yeah, you can just buy for five ringgit and then you have your yeah, adopt itself. The one with exactly original definitely is actually expensive, but I think it's more on separate. Yeah, because it's very difficult for adopt and also Microsoft to have the Profit. How do you want to sh how how do you want to segregate the revenue itself? It's very difficult. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Joint venture is the one that I said. Sony Ericsson. Yeah. Sony Ericsson. Yeah. Uh, so they have the third company, the birth of third company. Yeah. So this is actually the uh nature yeah of a joint venture similar to strategic alliance. Two or more companies form a joint venture. Okay. And with the birth of the third company. So the joint venture partners are shared owner with the new firm. Uh, this one is different. Yeah. So that means they owner a range can vary to how much each partner owns and also each partner has a control. Uh, so they have control. Both of them can, can have the control. Typically, the profit the company are shared. Uh, they like so much uh, alliances, their profit is actually se separated, but this one is more on shared. Yeah. Okay, they own the ownership percentage. Ah, uh, it's a base. Yeah, that is actually a different thing. Okay, ownership. Uh, Sony Ericsson's joint venture of Sony and Ericsson took place on October two thousand and one. Yeah, so maybe you are still uh crawling. Yeah, or maybe still you're in kindergarten, or maybe you are in form uh, standard one or standard two. So Sony was the uh, marginal player in the uh, mobile phone yeah market. Yeah, so marginal. Marginal means okay la, you are still your name is there, yeah, but you are not really uh number one, number two. Yeah. But Ericsson was the third third position and was successful in the mobile phone manufacturing business. The problem is, yeah, Philips is the they have the factory, they are the single source supplier of Ericsson. So the incident created a huge impact on performance of Ericsson. So the company couldn't fulfill the deadline and Ericsson, yeah, one of the way is to join Sony. Yeah. So com and DG, yes. Yeah, so com and DG. So they with the birth of a new company, Cellcom and DG. Strategic Alliance, they don't have the same company. Yeah, that is actually how yeah, you put it to, to your understanding. Yeah. So it's a joint venture, they have one particular birth of company name. Yeah, so strategic alliance they don't, yeah, they don't have. Okay, so uh, Sony and uh, Southcom DG. Yeah, I still remember. Yeah, uh, my first 
uh, number of the telecommunication company that I picked is DG. My first, yeah, first attempt or first number itself. Yeah, my, uh, the phone company is at DG. So last time you have to pay for the charge for the service that you actually, yeah, renting the line. You rent the line, you have to pay. You have punya, uh, coverage line. Yeah, so that's why it's so expensive at that time. Yeah, we have to pay for the line. Yeah, but nowadays no more. Yeah, okay. So that's joint venture. So that means they have the new birth of the name. Okay. So merger and acquisition. Merger is something different compared to acquisition. Uh, so the common methods of the firm to diversify is through merger and acquisition. Merger is actually between two companies in a similar size and it's less common. Yeah. Acquisition is actually they buy another company. Yeah. Okay, so that's why um, so uh, M and A, yeah, merger and uh, uh, acquisition, yeah. For example, is actually related in diversification and horizontal. Horizontal means actually you bought over, yeah, the competitors. Small small one you eat, yeah. That means you buy. Facebook and Instagram is actually uh, they acquired. That means Mark Zuckerberg, they bought it from the Insta in from the in, uh, Instagram owner, which is basically both, uh, the owner itself is actually owned by Kevin Strom. Sid Strom and also Mike yeah, uh, Krieger. Yeah, so they bought in 2010. So now Instagram is owned by. Sorry, uh, Instagram was, was developed in 2010 and then uh, Facebook by Instagram in 2012. Yeah. Okay, so that is actually acquired. That means they paid their money. Okay, this is the differences between the merger and also acquisition. Merger is actually, yeah. They have need to have the new name. Acquisition tak payah. Uh, so like for example, M Bank and MBF. Last time Arab Malaysian Finance, yeah, Arab Malaysian Group. So when they merge with MBF, so they change the name to M Bank. Yeah. So MBF is actually very well known for their credit card. Yeah. So we bought all the business. I mean the uh, portfolio, the business itself. Yeah. And then we change the name. I mean, uh, the name itself to M Bank. Yeah, last time it's MBF. Okay, MBF. Okay, this is actually the merger between two. Yeah, merger is actually one or more individual companies join. Acquisition is actually they took over the operation of another. So they buy another company. So the merger is agreed upon. Yeah, mutual consent. But for acquisition, yeah, they just acquire the company. Yeah without any consent okay uh they change the com the new name uh, of the company yeah but acquisition no they can just stick they can stick to the parent company yeah the acquired company itself the power yeah they are more they are involved in dilution that means they have to work together with both yeah but for acquire no need yeah for shares they have to provide a new shares because they already have merged with the company but for acquisition, no, no need because they, they bought over. Yeah. Ah, Produa owns the Toyota and that's so good. Okay. Mm. Okay. So that is actually how this merger and acquisition is all about. Ah, e commerce CIMB. Betul lah. Bumi Putra, I still remember that was when I was in M Bank. Uh, at that time, I'm, I'm uh, Arab, Arab Malaysian. Uh, so one of my friends, yeah, work in, uh, we call it BB, BI uh, uh, Bank Bumi Putra, BBMB. Yeah, Bank Bumi Putra, Malaysian something lah. Yeah, uh, Berhad. Yeah, so they changed to CIMB. Yeah, so they cannot use the, the same name itself. They tak boleh pakai. Yeah, because that is merger because both have to sit down. That means the two companies have to sit down so they cannot just use one name, particular name. So they have to make sure that they change the new name. Okay, so corporate now uh, is actually the last topic for corporate yeah, uh, strategy, corporate level strategy. So we go to corporate parenting. Yeah, we go to corporate parenting. Yeah, Sam W acquired the MW. Uh, okay. Um, perhaps, yeah, I'm not really uh, into it. So maybe I need to have more reading, yeah, Sam Darby. 
one of my friend is actually one of the director in Sam Davi now exactly in uh, Cradle. Yeah, she's the CEO, she's the CEO of Cradle, Rahiza. Yeah. Okay, so Sam Davi. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not so sure, but maybe I check later, yes. Uh Sam Davi acquired UMW. Because for your information, last time Sam Davi they have Wunde. Yeah, uh, I still remember Sam Davi last time they have their bank. But the bank is not doing well, Sign Bank. Yeah, so they I think they already failed the bank itself. Yeah. And also they have Hyundai. Yeah. Uh, for that particular business, yeah, from you know, this unrelated business. Hyundai itself. I still remember because I serviced Hyundai last time. Yeah. Uh I'm not really sure. Maybe Toyota UMW is actually more on what? Is it Toyota? Or maybe it's actually another uh what do you call that specification? Yeah, Toyota, Sime Dabi and Toyota. I mean, uh, UMW. Sime Dabi and UMW. UMW, the, the whole group. Um, Sime Dabi, I call it the whole group. The, the whole group itself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yes, I call it the UMW. Sime Dabi, perhaps. That, that was... Um, yeah, they, they gained the... Access to gain full ownership of UMW. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Back on uh, August 2023. Yeah, so that means because I, what I need, uh, my knowledge is like a chat GPT only back on 2022, 2021. Yeah. Okay, the last one is actually corporate parenting. So this corporate parenting is actually for uh, a corporate who handle their portfolio. Yeah. So, for example, there is actually one particular corporation. They are more in HQ. Lah, yeah? So, the concept of corporate parenting refers to the role of corporation in managing and overseeing the various business units and subsidiaries. That means, Diorang adalah one sort of a kepala. Lah, yeah? The big kepala itself, they monitor what is actually the business, business unit and the subsidiaries actually doing. For example, like GE, yeah? General Electric, they have so many business units. They have aviation, healthcare, you just name it. The CT scan, the MRI is actually, if you look at yeah, the side of the CT scan and also the side of the MRI, yeah, the PET scan, PET, yeah, PET scan is all, yeah, you can see it's actually very popular, which is the GE. Yeah? So they have power, they have capital, they have so many. Yeah? So they need to have this corporate parenting to monitor. That's why they call it corporate parenting. So I mean, the parent is actually monitoring the children, what they are doing. Yeah. So that's why they call it corporate parenting. So if you Google, sometimes you'll be surprised to see. Sometimes the meaning is actually like, yeah, the the, the parent is actually ask, uh, you know, uh, seeking or maybe yeah, nurturing the children itself. Yeah, in business, yeah, it's actually a one particular unit, a one particular corporation who are managing yeah the subsidiaries and also the business units. Okay, uh, because the company is big. Uh, so this is actually the uh, image, yeah, uh, the picture of corporate parenting yeah creating a value for business unit so they have the experience yeah they have the support so they have plan i mean they have the plan they have the budget they have the procurement they have the legal function financial function human resource yeah this is all the main one who actually supporting the corporate office yeah okay yes uh, i think uh, last time i did work in one particular yeah uh, public listed company, they have their separate corporate office. Yeah, the corporate office. So they monitor all this. Yeah, because the company is actually very big. Yeah, so they will monitor the business unit and also the branches and also the subsidiaries. Yeah, because the, the big company, they have a lot of subsidiaries. Yeah, like uh, last time when I uh, worked in uh, Punja Niagara, they have the, uh, the ex, uh, subsidiaries in other countries also. So the corporate office is actually the one who actually monitoring all this and then they uh, during ESCO time, during meeting time, they will yeah represent yeah whatever the branches and also the subsidiaries companies itself. Okay, so this uh, corporate parenting analysis in strategic management yeah is the strategic uh, tools yeah is to assess how well the company is meeting and needs to uh needs for its shareholders. Yeah? The analysis look at the variety of factors. For example, the one that I said. Yeah, and to engage yeah with the community, I mean the company and also the shareholders. Okay, so that is actually corporate parenting. Right, they monitor what is actually the needs, 
yeah, of the business unit. So you can channel whatever to the corporate office. So sometimes this corporate office, they are actually very good with the Senate, yeah, with the with the shareholders. So they can uh in a point or maybe they can just suggest what exactly the needs. Yeah, sometimes the business unit, if let's say the uh you know, if you the Senate will Sometimes, you know, because the net is actually, you know, like, like you and me also. If they are not familiar with certain places, yeah, for example, like you are from this business unit, yeah, for example, your smartphone, and suddenly you join. So maybe, you know, the relationship is not there. So when you deal with corporate office, so corporate definitely they have the, uh, the do and don'ts of all the shareholders. Because you don't know the characteristic of the shareholders. This is what happened, yeah, during, uh, you know, uh, my experience itself. So I noticed that. Yeah, the shareholders, they are not really, I mean, they are always, they say, oh, who are you? You're from where? Ah, okay, something, this is the question they always ask. Yeah, so that means you want to reduce yourself and then you look at you up and down and from the top of your head up to your leg itself. Uh, so you feel uncomfortable. So when these corporate people, yeah, they are there in the meeting, sometimes they just bring you, yeah. So they will say, no, uh, yeah, they, I mean, the, this is actually, uh, this folder is actually from this, uh, you know, department, you know, he's here, you know, uh, to uh, reveal or maybe to uh, to give you some information about this information, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Because sometimes the board director or maybe the shareholders, yeah, when they sit down, they are really, you know, they don't know who you are. And then they just, you know, who are, they are pointing fingers to you. Yeah, this is what happened during my, uh, that thing yeah, when they call me, yeah, for, uh, representing i mean uh, when they want to discuss about solar energy and then yeah uh, the corporate yeah people say oh this is actually uh, amra yeah she actually want to say about the solar energy itself okay but towards the end the the ceo is not agreeable yeah to the solar energy business okay so that is corporate parenting i think we take a break yeah 9 37 so maybe we take a break about 20 minutes yeah, 20 minutes, say around, yeah, I think uh, I have about 10 more slides to go. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's actually about 10, 10 to 15 more slides to go. So we can do some exercise later, yeah, about unrelated uh, diversification, yeah. Okay, what we want to understand, yeah, uh, basically uh, the final assessment, yeah, uh, asked about uh, joint venture, yeah. Uh, okay, but I will next week. I will still, uh, you know, maybe I will give you if you have time. We have mock, uh, mock, uh, case study. Yeah, so from there you can have, uh, what is actually my expectation. Yeah, okay, because when I read a uh, few of your Volkswagen, yeah, there, there's actually a case study. So, um, not to say majority lah, but some of you is actually answering me at the question is actually in a very general manner. Yeah. So bear in mind, case study, when I prepare a case study, when, when there is a case study, and then when I prepare the question, yeah, so you have to relate the answers to the case study itself. Yeah. So that's why it's the purpose of the case study. Otherwise, yeah, if you answer generally, that means that question is actually meant for structured, structured question. Yeah. So you have to give some information. You have to think that the case study itself is actually uh when the question is actually asking about the case study, so you have to think the situation, what is actually going on in the case study, what is actually happened in the case study, and you have to make sure that you you need to know, yeah, or maybe you can have some sort of a uh, understanding about certain things that maybe is actually not written uh, directly in the case study, but you know that it's actually part of the case study, uh, meaning that uh, that is actually a certain uh, relationship, yeah, about the question and also the case study, yeah. So you can have, uh, yeah, but it's okay. Any anyhow, we want to, uh, later, yeah, by next week we're gonna have some mock uh, case study. At least you know how to prepare or how to answer, yeah, the final assessment well. Okay, so now we are moving to international opportunities, yeah. So in international strategy is a strategy uh through which the firm sells uh, its goods services yeah outside of its dom domestic market yeah so why uh we have we need to have or the business need to have international strategy because of so many reasons yeah 
Okay, the first one is actually it will create a new opportunity. The second one, uh, resources can be secured. Yeah, uh, the one that I mentioned to you about Apple and Fox for uh, Foxconn. Yeah, greater potential uh, product demand, borderless demand for global branded yeah brand yeah branded product. Uh, uh, pressure of global integration and also the market extension yeah, for the product life cycle. So sometimes because of uh, all these things, you have to okay, you have to make sure I have to off the, the sound. Yeah, you have to make sure that you have your extension itself. Yeah, because for example, maybe the the market is already saturated. Yeah, the market is already saturated. So you need to go for uh you know other geographical area in order to expand or maybe to uh, you know make the business the business bigger. Yeah. So this is what happened to so many multinational companies, yeah, because they the market is already saturated. So they they go through or maybe they went to another countries, yeah, to uh yeah, to diversify the business. Okay, uh uh continue, yeah. It provides better protection for asset. Yeah, it develops relationship with the key uh, resources faster, and also it will provide reduction of risk. Yeah, so the risk is actually secured, or maybe the risk is actually uh, lower. Yeah, because of the, uh, of course, yeah, maybe because of the advertisement. Yeah, maybe because of the uh, resources. Yeah, maybe because of the funding. Yeah, the monetary. Yeah, so that is actually the opportunities involved. Okay, now we go to the first one. Yeah, what makes uh, okay? For example, the market size, the economy of scale, competitive advantage. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the in, uh, incentive to use yeah, uh, tra uh, international strategy because of the market size. So, for example, people you know, if let's say you are uh, have a company, you want to tap into uh china yeah you want to build your business in china and also in india this is actually the population is actually very big and the market size definitely is actually very big so people aiming but of course you have to need again ask your question yeah why sometimes you know uh you you aim high but then because of the culture is different the technology yeah it's different the decision making is different yeah uh the political and litigation is different yeah, the environment is different. Sometimes your business will fail. Yeah, because you don't understand that kind of you know the risk itself inside the in, inside risk. Yeah, which is uh maybe you're not aware. Yeah, maybe you're not aware. Maybe whatever that you read from the news is different. What is actually going on or what is actually happened in uh in that particular area. Yeah. Okay. So increase economies of scale. Yeah. So what is economy say? I will explain. Yeah. Uh, develop. Uh, of competitive advantage to location, for example, with the cost of labor, uh, cheap labor, yeah, critical resources, and also customers. And uh, Vernon, Vernon is actually a professor in Harvard, uh, which is based, based on the economist. He's actually an economist. He are uh, the one who actually introduced about product life cycle. Yeah. So product life cycle, sometimes the product life cycle, yeah, you have to enter globally because of, as I mentioned, decline phase of the home market. Yeah, there's a, a lot of reason why yeah sometimes uh you the product life cycle maybe because of the you need to have the resources yeah it's actually abundant resources in other places yeah that's why yeah Apple they have in South Korea they have it in Malaysia yeah they have it in uh Fuzhou yeah they have it in Taiwan yeah because this they want to seek the resources itself yeah the cheaper the better so they can uh have a re they can reduce their uh, production itself, yeah, uh, on the uh, costing, yeah. Local content requires make it different to grow, yes, yeah. It's true, lah, because of the, so many, so many angles that they have to, yeah, because that's why you can see a lot of company who actually, uh, they want to penetrate their business internationally, they fail, yeah, because a lot of company, yeah, they join venture, so they fail. A lot of company who actually have strategic alliances, they fail. They don't understand, yeah, the the, uh, you know, like Starbucks. Eleven years they want to anchor their business in China, not nine years. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, nine to eleven years. Yeah, I I read, uh, I think last two years. It's very difficult for Howard Schultz, yeah, to tap into business whereby the culture of China they don't know, or maybe their ancestors keturunan orang, yeah. They um 
It means coffee is something which is, I, if you ask the Chinese, lah, coffee is angin, you say. Yeah? That means uh, it's not a good, uh, you know, it's not a good drink. Lah. Chinese, uh, they believe in green tea. Yeah? Chinese, they believe in tea. Yeah? So when their ancestors, and then suddenly now you can see, yeah, um, Starbucks is actually anchoring the business very big in China. So people is actually, it, it takes years to develop that kind of trust. It takes years to develop that kind of business. So definitely they fail first. Yeah, definitely you will, yeah, you will fail and then later they will grow in the market. Because they, they, they want to educate the Chinese how to drink coffee. Yeah. Okay. So because the market is so big in Shanghai itself. Yeah. Yeah, of course, Shanghai is not good in Vietnam. Shanghai also not good. But I'm talking about yeah, uh, the big picture of Starbucks. They're also not doing well yeah, in uh, Australia itself. Yeah, Starbucks, they have, but not they're not doing well yeah, because of yeah, the culture. Yeah, the culture. The culture itself. Yeah, even uh, certain I mean, uh, fast food companies also, yeah, they are not doing well also in, in Vietnam. So Vietnam, they have this concept of culture of very reserved culture. Uh, so Vietnam have this reserved culture. Yeah. Uh, how, for example, like MACD. Yeah. yeah? Uh, MACD is also not doing well yeah, in Vietnam. Yeah, because Viet, uh, the, the, Vietnam, the Vietnamese, they like to eat something which is uh, fast to serve and also uh, something that they can enjoy eating together. Yeah enjoy eating together so the culture is different so that's why you can see a lot of uh, you know local product is not i mean it's not local international product is not doing well in, in, in vietnam yeah okay so they have to study the culture but of course you have to try first yeah somehow rather you know like uh you know tesco is not doing well also in asia but they're doing well in uk yeah because they don't understand the, the culture of what this Asian exactly needs. They try to understand, but they fail. So they might swear they said you just they just pack and then they concentrate on the UK, yeah, business itself. Yeah. Ah, so uh it's 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 about it's not about spiritual also, it's about more on their how to say. Eh? It's, it's about their the custom like their custom itself yeah their tradition yeah so it's not easy for them to develop yeah the culture the anchor culture of drinking coffee so they try yeah they try for example they aim for those who actually uh, study abroad or maybe work abroad yeah uh, they they are I mean this Chinese they, they they drink coffee so when they came back to China so they're looking for coffee yeah. So uh, this is actually what yeah they, this is actually their target market first. Those who actually study that means they are, they are actually out of China, so they aim for this target people. Yeah, they aim this target and then slowly they grow it. It can it I mean it take years for them to anchor the business itself. Yeah. Yeah, they have the homegrown coffee, but you know. Still, yeah, Starbucks is actually one of the anchor. So another one is Lakin. Yeah, Lakin. L-U-C-K-I-N coffee. That is actually from China. Yeah. Because the concept is already been uh I mean been trained or been educated yeah, by the Starbucks itself. So that's why you can see the local coffee is actually take the opportunity. Yeah. Lakin coffee. L-U-C-K-I-N. Yeah, this is actually from in China. So I, I did give this case study to my Chinese students in People Republic of China. So I said, what is the difference between Starbucks and also Lucky? Yeah. So yes, it's true. But the initiative is actually yeah, the 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 what they call that the American, you know, uh legacy, yeah. They are the one who actually initiate yeah, the taste of the coffee to the tongue of the Chinese itself. And then slowly you can see there's a lot of local coffee is actually yeah, uh taking the opportunity itself. Yeah, so it's not easy to get someone to. We we used to eat, yeah, nasi, and then suddenly I say, okay, fine. Uh, now you have to eat everyday pasta, because we we I mean our our you know our taste bud you know that means we you want still we want to eat nasi, yeah. 
lain lah kalau beras tu tak ada kat Malaysia ya people sabut tak you know all this uh, beras is not is no more in Malaysia yeah but we still yeah great I mean craving for this nasi itself yeah no matter what so that is exactly how it's not easy job yeah but they try they have success yeah okay and second one is economy of scale so that means the more that you uh, for example like a big big company they buy in bulk yeah they buy in container. So of course, yeah, uh, the supplier can give them the you know the reduced price, the maybe the discount price or maybe because they buy in bulk. So from there, yeah, they will take that opportunity. So they will produce the product, yeah, with a very lower cost and they can sell, yeah, a very good price to customers. Yeah. So that is economy of scale. Yeah. So if you study economy of scale in your economics, yeah, so you will understand better the theory itself about this economy of scale. The more you reduce the production. Yeah, of the material or the product itself, the more that you actually, yeah, having the, I mean, the profit or maybe you can reduce so many and then you can make a lot of profit because your cost is actually lower. Yeah, so uh, economic of scale, for example, like MACD, yeah, they're actually reducing in the marketing exactly for like promotion. Okay? So they can have, yeah, standard promotion or standard advertisement throughout all the 10 countries that they have, yeah, uh, in the world itself. Yeah, so no need to, of course, lah. Yeah, you can see like they are they have a very standard area. They can just zoom in on the uh, fried chicken, you know, the crunchiness of the fried chicken, or maybe the the freshness of the salad. Yeah, in Big Mac, yeah, or maybe in Mac chicken. Uh, so that means they just focusing on the product instead of having the models. Yeah, but they they do have yeah also yeah particular local models or particular yeah who actually act in that particular. But they actually they can have another round of the advertisement whereby they just focusing on the product and then this can be yeah uh promote or maybe they can this uh advertise throughout all the yeah, countries that have the uh MACD itself yeah MACD restaurant itself in the world so they can say this is economy of scale yeah something that it will reduce the cost the making cost or the production cost or the uh what do you call that or the variable cost itself yeah you already learned about fixed and variable costs. Uh, this is actually how it will reduce the economy of scale. Okay. So, and the third one is actually competitive advantage. Definitely. Yeah. You already learned VRIOO, the, the value, the rareness, yeah, all this kind of thing. Yeah. So, that is actually how this competitive advantage will, uh, you, they will be, have the synergy in the low cost uh, labor, critical resources, and the customers. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's exactly how I mentioned about the product life cycle just now, yeah, about Vernon. Okay, so uh, increased market uh, size, as I mentioned, yeah, uh, earlier just now. So when they mentioned, when they uh, increase the market size, yeah, for example, yeah, when they tap into uh, India and China, yeah, so they have to localize the taste. Uh, this is what happened, yeah, but as I mentioned, yeah, uh, Vietnamese is not doing well. And also you will see that Starbucks also is not easy to tap into the Aussies. Yeah, so you can have a look at the case study of Australia. Yeah, and also the uh, Starbucks itself. Yeah, so not all, yeah, but majority, as I said, majority, they still, yeah, they have this to increase the market size itself. Yeah, for example, McD, they know that the Indian, yeah, they don't eat beef. So they introduced the Hello Tiki. Hello Tiki is actually made from the, the green pea. And also the uh, match, yeah, potatoes. Okay, so this is actually like Malaysia. We have this. Uh, the Chinese one will be uh, so we they will introduce the. Uh, yeah, tea is actually healthier drink, but you'll be surprised to see caffeine also is actually, uh, uh, is actually a good booster, yeah, but not too much, yeah. Whatever that you're drinking, whatever you're eating, not over you. I mean. Uh, abuse, yeah, not over. I mean, you don't do it over, yeah. Uh, for example, that you eat too much of the, you know, of the uh, burger, or maybe you drink too much of the tea, yeah, or too much of the coffee every time, yeah. So it will definitely will affect you also, yeah, your health. Okay, so um, uh, what I say just now, uh, okay. So when you talk about uh the MACD itself, yeah. So MACD, uh, they have kind, yeah. That means they localize. Yeah, they localize by having Malaysia. We have the Mac Prosperity. 
yeah, Mac Prosperity is actually, if you can see here, they push it during Chinese New Year. So you can have, yeah, maybe one month, uh, on maybe the January, they started already, February, and so much. And then after that, they already stop, yeah, because they want, they want to push, yeah, the sales, yeah, of that particular season itself. Yeah, last time during my time, there is Mac Rendang. Uh, the taste, the, the sauce of rendang is served on the top of the burger. It's very nice. Maybe you have not uh, tasted it before. So that was during 90s. Uh, early of 90s. Lah. Yeah. Okay. Mac rendang. So it's so nice to eat the mac rendang itself. It, it feels that you are eating the, the rendang, yeah? the beef rendang. Yeah, but with a bun. Okay. All right, so uh, larger international market offer higher potential returns and also pose less risk for the firm. Ah, nasi lemak, bobo ayam, maggi, all this lah. Yeah. Okay, so they, they localize. Yeah, because like Malaysia, we like to eat spicy food. Yeah, so that's why you can see, yeah, our, uh, the fried, the, the maggi fried chicken is actually, yeah, you want to have extra spicy, whatever you can choose. Because they know the taste bud of Malaysia. We like to add. So if you sell this in Europe, definitely, yeah, it, it cannot, they, they cannot concentrate, yeah, because the taste bud, yeah, of the, what do you call that, in uh, uh, Europe and Malaysia is different. You, know, you look at in YouTube, you know, when they eat both like uh, the French fries in Malaysia and French fries in UK, it's totally different. Like Malaysia, we, yeah, it's more salty. In in UK UK their French fries is not so salty, so the tourists lah yeah when I when I look at the the review about McD on the French fries itself both and I said oh in Malaysia yeah the the fries itself is more salty as compared in UK yeah so even though that they are same yeah uh, uh what do you call that uh, product but yeah this the way they serve is different yeah so that is exactly how they increase the market. I mean, they know the sensitivity, yeah, and the culture, yeah, about that particular country itself. So in, uh, okay, uh, in, uh, say, okay, Big Mac is actually in US, yeah, that is actually their concentration on the burger, yeah, and then uh, in Australia, sorry, in Canada, yeah, Canada, Canada they have, uh, the burger, they have the brownies, uh, I have forgotten the name, the name of it, but but yeah, you can see like, how Big Mac yeah enter, yeah, uh, how they localize, yeah. In uh, Taiwan, they have this, uh, sorry, not Taiwan. In 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 Thai, yeah, they have this, uh, they serve, yeah, the the Thai, I mean the Thai, the 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 white rice. Yeah, and then the chicken and also with the very spicy sauce. Yeah, I've forgotten the name. Yeah, uh, that was last year. I, ha I had the class or marketing class yeah, with the students. So there's a video itself. Yeah, it's actually the name itself for that particular food. And yeah, make this stuff. Yeah, just for the Thailand. Uh, uh, they have, uh, in Thailand, they have this burger. Tarayaki. Tarayaki burger. Yeah, tarayaki. But their teriyaki burger is non halal, yeah, it's not non halal one. Teriyaki burger, huh? that's right in Japan, yeah, teriyaki. Okay, so that is exactly how, yeah, they sell localizing the taste, yeah, of the McD itself, burger itself. So economy of scale, as I mentioned, yeah, exactly expanding the size of the scope of a market, yeah, help the. To achieve the economies of scale, manufacturing as well as the marketing, R&D, and also distribution. So the costs are spread over the larger uh, sales base. And definitely, it will increase the profit uh, per unit. Yeah, And it will explore the more core competencies in the international market throughout the resource and also knowledge. And definitely, partner with the other network. Yeah, So by sharing all the resources, definitely, it will reduce the cost and have a very high quality product. Okay, so that's why you can see a lot of multinational company they have, yeah, uh, they team up, yeah, the JV or strategic alliances itself. Mm. Smaller input, big volume, highly increase the input, bigger, bigger volume. 
okay, but if you can put it that way, but the meaning of the economy of scale is actually something that you yeah, you buy in big and then you process it, you, you, you produce it, and then definitely the more you produce, definitely the more uh, you know, cost of per input or per unit that you save. Yeah. So kalau katakanlah kita buat baju kan, baju t-shirt. Kalau kita beli, katakanlah we want to print the t-shirt itself. Say, uh, we go to the vendor. Say, I want to print. Can you design one particular shirt? Definitely, it will be cost you. But if you say, uh, we want to have the bundle, yeah, with the same logo, the price will be different. Yeah. Because the machine, yeah, you have to see the machine to make to print. They just satu satu. They tak boleh design. Yeah, for example, yeah, they just bought into one particular block only. And then you can just they print, print, print. They printed all the 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 shirt itself. Definitely, it will cut. Uh, it will you know give you a lot of uh you know reduce of the cost instead of you ask them to yeah buy one. Yeah, you ask it. Oh, okay, I want to buy one only. They can do it, but of course, it's actually more expensive. Yeah, rather than you actually buying in bulk. Uh, that is the concept of economic of scale. Yeah, cost of designing. Yes, for one, it's actually very expensive for the, to design. Yeah, because they need to design the block. Yeah, they not they not what t-shirt too. They can have the block there, and then they put the you know the color itself, and then they stamp. Yeah, onto the block itself. Yeah, tapi kalau satu of course lah, memang mahal lah. But we're talking about you actually selling in bulk. Contohnya hari keluarga, you punya. Yeah, you want to have your hari apa ah uh, hari hari keluarga. Yeah, so maybe you 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 order for two dozen. Yeah, so of course it's actually much more cheaper. Yeah, so that that is actually economic of scale. Yeah, economic of scale is actually a cost advantages. You selamatkan your cost advantages because you you have the abundance of production and definitely it will reduce the cost by unit. Yeah, by unit. Okay. It not is it's actually not only for production tau yeah for marketing also like promotion also we can reduce macam saya cerita tadi yeah the decline of the MACD yeah you can just standardize and then you can just uh, play it yeah to Malaysia and then all countries itself will actually have been the same yeah the same product okay next is actually yeah working in multi uh multiple international market also provide firms with a new lean uh, learning opportunities. Yeah, so you learn about the culture, you learn about decision making, you learn about the politics, you learn about the economics, you learn about the people. Yeah, so imagine that. Yeah, last time we don't have any uh pekerja kilang from yeah from Myanmar from uh Pakistan. Yeah, but you can see that in Bangi there's a lot of uh, kilang, and then crossing the road is all with the, you know, with the yellow uh, blue punya shirt kan. Yeah, pekerja kilang punya baju tu. Yeah, they are you know lah. Yeah, the Pakistani, yeah, the Myanmar, they like to hold hand. Yeah, the the men and men and men itself. Yeah, they cross the road by holding the hand. Okay, this is their culture. Yeah, they like to cook. Yeah, they will buy. They will go to yeah near to the uh, my area. They is actually hero supermarket. Ah, uh, they will buy yeah the face, the veggie, and then they cook themselves. So this culture is not the same in. Our in Malaysian can our Malaysian yeah because we the, the normally we hardly the guys will cook yeah if they stay alone they will cook lah only Maggie me yeah but the you look at all this Myanmar and all this Paki you know uh they they always cook yeah uh, I mean the serious cook lah that means the main the main dish itself yeah uh you know at their yeah at their rental yeah at their rumah sewa itself yeah. So it's actually very common. They will buy, yeah, the the veggie. We will seeing them hold. I mean, carrying that particular plastic bag, and then they will cook, yeah. So here in Malaysia, it's actually hap. It's it's not happening. It's not really the culture of us of cooking, yeah. Especially the man itself, yeah, who actually really want to cook for that particular main dish. So of course you will see all these, yeah, opportunities and stuff, yeah, about something which is. Yeah, you can think about another business also. Yeah, you can think about another business also when you can see like uh, Kedai Aceh is taking that particular advantage. Yeah, you can see in my area, one uh, there is actually about ten Kedai Aceh. Yeah, so I know you guys know what what I know lah. Yeah, they are selling cigarettes, yeah, illegal cigarettes. Okay, 
and then uh, they come. I mean, of course, yeah, they also sell yeah veggie, uh, fish, all this uh, wet product itself, and also certain yeah uh, product yeah uh, for uh, you know because they all all this yeah groceries itself yeah. Hmm. Kedai, it's not kedai cik is not murah lah. Kedai cik, if you look at the telur, it's like very expensive. Maybe you never shop in kedai cik. The what even the mineral water also very expensive. They just want to their main business is actually to sell cigarette. That's why you can see a lot of kedai cik. Even though it's just two hundred me two hundred meter away, but there's another one kedai cik, another one kedai cik. Ah, ha. because the demand of people buying cigarette is very high. Ia bukan nak bisa yo pun. Yeah, they will. They don't have. They want to buy. Uh, yeah, we also want to go there. Even their sayu also very expensive. Yeah, okay, but because their main business is actually to selling this to sell the cigarette. That is their main business. Yeah, so maybe you're not smoking. You don't know, but if you look, yeah, if you notice that yeah, so many people, uh, you know, motorbike, yeah, stopping by just for a few minutes is actually to buy cigarette. Yeah. So, because the the government itself is already yeah, uh, what do you call that? Flash the tax to all those who actually. That's why you can see a lot of company yeah move out from Malaysia because the tax is very expensive. Yeah, but you'd be surprised to see. Now people opt to vape. Yeah, so it's very difficult to settle this kind of thing lah because it's actually habitual you habit something you are habit. Yeah, you are eating your your biting your nails, you know all this kind of thing. It's habit, so it's not easy. Yeah, to to make sure that people change the habit itself. Yeah, so increase the R and uh, the R and D ability can contribute to its effort to enhance the innovation. Yeah, uh, both short and also long term success. Yeah, and also investment. Yeah, for example, uh, they have the advantages of R and D. Yeah. To have a stronger system place to absorb this R and D knowledge, so because they have economy of scale, so when they did one particular research, so it we can apply to all, yeah. So they will reduce, yeah. For example, how to reduce the cost, yeah. How to minimize, yeah. But they have a very good quality, so they when did the research, yeah. Hmm, kudang garam, kretek, and all this, yeah. When they did the research R and D itself, so it will. Reduce a lot of economic of scale. Reduce the cost itself. So definitely, it will have reduce on cost and quality, uh, very good in quality. Yes, because they have the R and D. Samsung have R and D and Apple. This you can you name it. They have all this big big company. They have R and D. Yeah, that's why they they are very good. Yeah, in uh have this to to lead. Yeah, as a very good quality and a very affordable price. Okay. So now we go for the, the location advantages. Also, is the same like geographic, yeah. So mostly it's actually on the lower, uh, lower cost labor, energy suppliers, and also the key customers. So that's why you can see, yeah. If you go to Sungai Buloh, yeah, or maybe you go to Shah Alam. So it, it's actually a, for example, like air conditioning. Yeah, they need to have the compressor. They need to have this. So you can see the compressor uh, kilang is near to the air conditioner kilang. So I mean the logistic is actually they can reduce in economic of scale in logistic. Yeah, so no need they want to order from JB. So JB to Sungai Bulu is actually very far. Or maybe in Shah Alam you can see yeah all these uh, microchips or maybe certain you know uh, uh, what do you call that uh, particular function yeah for example maybe the engine whatever it takes nearby. Yeah. So that means they can just supply whatever accessories, whatever yeah, uh, parts yeah, to that particular to have the complete yeah product yeah to the to, to final product itself is easy because they just nearby nearby yeah just the near the the neighborhood itself. So the logistic they can uh, have the economic of scale in the logistic yeah it will reduce the unit itself. Okay, so that is a location advantage. Okay, now it's actually the how. Okay, I asked the FE about uh, joint venture. Yeah, is there any joint venture? Oh, sorry. Uh, is it not joint venture? Or oh, maybe, but later maybe I will uh drill more yeah, later on joint venture. Yeah, but this is actually uh one way yeah of how 
you they they use the international mode of entry yeah exporting licensing alliances acquisition and also yeah the green field or sometimes they call it wholly owned yeah subsidiary okay so the export you can see the 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 more lower yeah the increase i mean the from the export up to the uh newly yeah sorry new wholly owned subsidiary will be higher the increase of yeah is as as they go down the increase is actually higher yeah and the control also will be higher yeah so exporting is actually for example uh uh, uh the chinese or maybe from china company export yeah for example certain steel yeah or maybe certain product to malaysia yeah because uh, in our company we don't i mean in our country we don't have that so we have to get yeah the product is actually from other countries yeah, so that's actually export so it's actually like very uh you know fan square or very transparent kind of uh, they have the contract yeah contractual agreement so you, if you don't send me within the six months itself yeah so that means uh they will take an action yeah? for example like the phillips and also the uh, ericsson uh, issues just now yeah Okay, because Philip is the sole uh, supplier, yeah, for Ericsson, yeah, uh, what do you call that? For, for example, like microchips and all that in the phone, yeah. Okay, so exporting is actually involving low expense to establish operation, but my content here is actually want to focus on the solution, yeah. Okay, so it will involve contractual agreement. You will have very high logistic costs. Yeah, not just con transportation. I'm talking about the overall logistic from the from the uh, using air, using uh, you know, uh, rails. Yeah, using the water. Yeah, using uh, what do you call from the land, from the air, and also water itself will involve a lot of cost because they need to pay tariff. Yeah, as you enter the product, enter that particular countries, they must pay tax. Yeah, they must pay the taxes. Yeah, custom free, uh, it depends lah, not all. Yeah, okay, but throughout the picture, they must have paid the tariff. Okay, uh, but you'll be surprised to see in Czech Republic, Toyota, uh, not Toyota, Hyundai, Hyundai, yeah, um, they have, yeah, their company in uh, Czech Republic, yeah, they developed the factory in Czech Republic because the, uh, the, the president or maybe the, yeah, the president of Czech Republic is up exactly they welcome Toyota to to have they call it uh you know the green field it means they open their own um, factory in that Czech Republic because they want to have uh you know opportunity for employment yeah and then also they will give everything or sub the government is at least giving subsidiary the government is actually excluding all these tariffs uh, they want is good lah because they want to promote Czech Republic yeah, to the to the eye of the world. Yeah, so Toyota, uh, sorry, not Toyota, Hyundai, Hyundai went to Czech Republic. Yeah, okay, so it will give about maybe more opportunity for them to work, yeah, in Czech Republic. So they hire Czech, the Czech Republic, yeah, citizen to work in uh, Hyundai. Okay, all right, so that is uh, the most important part for how you use the exporting because there is no foreign manufacturing expertise. Yeah, in that particular country. So they need to get the product to be exported to that particular country. Yeah, like for example, like Malaysia, we depend a lot on China. So that's why during COVID-19, yeah, there's a lot of company cannot, yeah, they already have difficulties, yeah, on producing the product or uh, I mean producing the output because yeah, certain product they cannot, yeah, they cannot get it from China. Yeah, especially in construction, yeah uh construction you know, you know uh, business itself we depend a lot from china semiconductors product product we depend a lot from china yeah so that's why they said that i think last year yeah they said that we, they want to increase certain semiconductors product because china have very high demand and then the supplies is actually very low because of covid 19 so they close yeah certain factories they are closed yeah so because of that, yeah, the semiconductor product cannot, the demand is very high and then they, the supply is actually very low. So they increase the price of semiconductors product. Yeah, so including like, all this uh, chip, I mean the semiconductors product, yeah, the microchips, whatever inside the, the car itself. 
Yeah, so the price of the car is actually increased because of the supply and demand in China is actually very, yeah, uh, is is not balanced. So they need to have about six months to two years in order for them to get back at yeah, the momentum of the supplies itself. Yeah, so hmm, we just ask ourselves this kind of yeah COVID nineteen itself. Yeah, there's a lot of businesses. There's a lot of strategies. There's a lot of yeah. Um, yeah, lah, involved businesses, like especially this lot of it will, it would take. I mean, in total, they changed tremendously. Yeah, this of COVID nineteen just for the past two years. Yeah, okay. So and then licensing. Yeah, uh, licensing is more on the they want to allow the foreign company to purchase the right. Yeah, for example, like Honda, Toyota, they have the licensing. Yeah, last time Naza Moto, I still remember Naza Sutra, Naza Carnival. Yeah, this is all the Kia. So they have the like they give the right yeah to the manufacturing, the local manufacturing to yeah to use their formula, to use their technology yeah. Okay, to and then to sell the product into uh, to the local itself. Yeah, Naza Sutra, Naza Carnival. Yeah, that is actually a uh, example yeah of this licensing yeah. Okay, it will improve the low cost of expanding internationally. It will uh, allow license to absorb. Yeah, it will allow uh, control over the manufacturing and marketing. It offers the lower potential return. It will reduce the risk of licensing. Uh, licensee and licensor is the person who will give the license. Licensee is actually those who are using the license yeah, to imitate the technology. Yeah. Uh, inflexible ownership arrangement and also product improvement. Yeah, so Honda, they, they have the factory in, in uh, uh, what they call in Thailand. So they call back few cars. Remember last time, yeah, I think five years ago, four years ago, they call back yeah, certain cars, Toyota and Honda. Yeah, Toyota, Honda also they have. Okay, so they call back the car because the system, for example, the ABS system is not doing well. Yeah, so they have <coughs> they give for free to install back the ABS to your taka. Yeah. Okay. So because they have the licensee in, in Asia. Yeah, they have the licensee in in Asia itself. Okay. So franchising also is part of the licensing. It's a part of the licensing. Yeah. Licensing. Uh but uh, franchising and franchise franchising yeah. franchising and licensing is not the same. Yeah. Franchisee, uh franchising, yeah. It's actually more towards something that, uh, for example, like you look at MACD. Yeah, this is actually franchisee, franchisor. So the franchisor is MACD. The franchisee is actually the local yeah, who actually opened the company. So um, they need to have, yeah, for example, the uh, whatever you want to be, to have the layout or maybe the uh, the interior design, okay. you have to consult. You have to consult the, 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 I mean, the franchisor. Yeah. Okay, so I give you the meaning here. Franchisee is actually broader business model that uh, provides more complete business format, including the use of trademark, business, process, support, and also access to the proven business model. But for licensing, uh, they just give specific yeah, uh, uh, IP, intellectual property, yeah, patent, trademark, copyrights, but they are focusing on the specific product technology. So they are just focusing on the brand, and technology itself, but franchising is more deeper. Until to the layout, until to the interior design of that particular restaurant, they have to look into. Yeah, and then they manage on the, uh, for example, uh, on the um, employee itself. Yeah, so that means you they uh, control the recruitment and everything. So that means franchisee is more deeper. Yeah, it's more in insightful as compared to licensing. Yeah, okay, and then we move on to strategic alliance as I mentioned just now. Yeah, like uh, you asked a question just now about uh, Subway and also Petronas. Yeah, so remember, yeah, their profit is actually different. Yeah, the sharing is different, but of course, yeah, the activities, the promotion, yeah, it can be the same. Yeah, it can be together. Yeah, okay, so the collaboration with partners, yeah, experienced partners already because they have. Yeah, why they have to be uh yeah, they why they work together as alliance because yeah, Petronas is actually, for example, is actually the place whereby yeah, it's not just 
yeah, you buy your top up yeah, for your touch and go and also to fill yeah, or maybe to just uh, put your gas yeah, into the car itself, but it's more. Yeah? You can have, for example, like Posta Coffee, so they have in Chow. Yeah? So that is also strategic alliance. You know, like Nasi Lemak, the one that you said just now. Yeah, or as they have uh, another one, yeah, Subways. Yeah, because again, they need to have channel. You understand? Yeah, channel is very important. The location. Yeah, another four. One of the element of 4P is location. So when you have a very strategic location, people can access to your product easily. But it's not easy yeah, to have the alliance for all these people yeah, because their name is good, patronized. Yeah? That's why you need to know, you need to maintain your quality of your nasi lemak. You need to maintain your quality of your subway because if, let's say, people complain, it will give bad reputation to the to the, to the patronas, to the shell, uh, to the uh, somewhat... Uh, yeah, all this uh, gas station itself. Yeah, for example, Starbucks and also uh, Barnes and Noble. Yeah, so if let's say Barnes and Noble, uh, you know, if let's say Starbucks they never take care of the quality of their coffee, yeah, their barista is, yeah, having problem, yeah, with the customers, people complain and definitely it reflects the reputation for Barnes and Noble. Yeah, so that is exactly how. Yeah. Uh, they have to both of them have to need to have a win win situation, okay. All right, so next is the acquisition the one that I said bought over, yeah. Okay, so what is the solution here? Okay, the solution here is to get uh, rapid access yeah, to the new market that is acquisition. You buy over, for example. Company A from America buy over this company B from Malaysia. Yeah. So when you acquire, definitely this is your hundred percent of your, uh, you know, they buy. Yeah. For example, Apple buy a certain Chinese company who actually yeah the, the semiconductor product. Yeah. So they just they will buy uh horizontal horizontal integration. Yeah. They will buy the competitors company. Yeah. They will buy the competitors company because they. They have the money, yeah. They have the money, and then they just acquire. Yeah, for example, like Facebook and also Instagram. Within they started in 2010, yeah. They sell to Facebook 2012 within two years. So they will get they already got millions of dollars. Yeah. Okay. The corruption is not an issue. Oh, okay. Where is it? I know. Okay, uh, the firm must act quickly because they, if let's say they buy a company who actually corrupt, definitely it will reflect their reputation also. Yeah, so acquire is actually very important. That means they need to know in and out. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, uh, this is actually uh, the, if let's say you know about this two ringgit company. Yeah, so this two ringgit company, they want to sell, yeah, very fast. Yeah, because they know that they cannot sustain because uh, you know when you sell that this two ringgit company, that means your. I mean, you can save here. Yeah? For example, if one particular company buy this two ringgit company itself, you know what's a two ringgit company? This two ringgit company, they have a lot of debts. There are a lot of issues in that particular company. Yeah, even though the company is actually very high, yeah, uh, in reputation whatever, but because of their debts, look at debts and debts. Yeah, the. Uh, it's actually yeah called debts yeah debts dia punya hutang banyak so dia punya hutang tu melebihi daripada dia punya profit yeah theory I mean uh, metaphorically lah yeah metaphorically maksudnya dia punya hutang tu lagi banyak daripada dia punya if let's say dia jual asset company tu yeah so that's why they call it two ringgit company so if let's say someone don't know about this two ringgit company yeah they definitely it, you will the company will be Absorbing, they mean they will absorb all the hutang hutang, all the supplier who actually, yeah, this company never pay, and then you have to pay the supplier. You have to pay all this, yeah, whatever that you have, the debts that you have. Uh, so be, you have to be careful before you want to buy, yeah, particular company. So they want to sell cheap. Sometimes they sell want to che sell cheap, and then you are actually asking yourself, kenapa company jual murah, yeah, because dia ada banyak hutang. So. Acquisition, they want to because they they uh, 
they don't want to have yeah for example if they buy that particular new company yeah it will reflect yeah certain issues yeah it will backfire the the acquired company itself yeah the parent company so they tak nak yeah something which is the corrupt yeah especially in the any yeah uh, because when multinational company they aim they are, the world's exactly aiming yeah for that particular brand yeah or maybe for that particular company so when they bought over something which is for example yeah which is not uh, in a good yeah in a good reputation or maybe they are actually uh, something lah yeah maybe they uh, uh, what do you call that uh, work with yeah something which is uh, not a uh, syndicate yeah or maybe money laundering uh, definitely you will, you will get the smack you will get the smack because yeah people will blame you yeah so sometimes people say that oh okay this owner the uh, econ safe yeah why they have this yeah because they want to yeah they want to uh, dilute the money laundering business uh, something like that but we don't know how far it's true yeah? because we don't have black and white proven okay so this uh, is one of the way yeah acquisition okay now is actually the last one which is the uh they call it sometimes they call it greenfield yeah? greenfield venture whereby you have your own construction or your own uh, factory factory i mean factory yeah to that particular new yeah, location okay so they call it newly yeah or sometimes they call it foreign direct investment yeah so wholly owned subsidiary, Greenfield Venture with the firm invest directly in other country, yeah, by establishing the new wholly owned subsidiary. Yeah. So it's actually costly, it's actually involved complex, it's actually involved uh control, it's actually involved uh high return, high potential, yeah, high risk, yeah, potential return, and also it will be so many things, so many things that you are not aware of, yeah. For example, maybe a certain issue. Yeah, for example, if you have uh issues, yeah. I mean in a country issues, like political issues, yeah. Yeah, for example, like Ukraine, yeah, and also Russia at that time. So IKEA have to go out, yeah, from the market. Yeah. So this is the issue, lah. And I mean we, we unforeseen, we, we can't see, yeah, that kind is actually happening in the future. Can you predict the future? You cannot you can't predict the future. So during the Ukraine and also Russia, yeah, a war itself, yeah, it reflects very bad negative, yeah, especially in America, yeah, uh, what do you call that, uh, product, yeah, brand itself, and then uh, between uh, Donald Trump and also Huawei, yeah, so how Huawei is actually owned uh, initially was from the Android, yeah, so they got the license from Google, and then when Donald Trump yeah, making the fuss itself, yeah, about the issue of in China. So they have now uh have they need to build, yeah. I mean they already have, yeah, built their own system. So that's why when you're using Huawei, you you, you don't have yeah, the Google, you don't have the uh, YouTube, yeah. Why? Because you have to use the APK, lah, yeah, the shortcut. Yeah. So this is also happened. I just read just now, yeah. Uh, America also, I mean, uh, Apple also is actually from America. They also like to think to go, move out from China. Yeah, maybe because of certain issues, yeah, maybe sabotaging or maybe certain issues that which is not clear. And then they try to, yeah, move away also yeah, because they're scared of these uh, political issues. Yeah, uh, they call it uh, geopolitical issues. Yeah, Joe, it's it's exactly the location. Political is exactly what happened in that particular area. So it's actually very scary because yeah, that means you're already there for 25 years, 10 uh, 20 years, and suddenly you have to move out. Yeah, so, and then you have to start all over again. So that is actually very scary. Yeah, so we can't, I mean, for the businessman, it's actually a big loss. Yeah, when they will have to go to another country, like Motorola, last time was near PJ, right? Yeah, now they're ready because Motorola is not doing well. So the company, yeah, along the road of the PJ itself, yeah, Motorola is no more. Yeah. So because of that particular, yeah. We because of why? Because maybe of the labor charges is actually increased. So they cannot sustain. So they have to move to another country. Yeah. Okay. 
So maybe because last time Malaysia during 70s and 80s or maybe 90s, yeah, or maybe the, the cost of labor is quite cheap, but nowadays it's actually no more. So they have to opt to another country. They need to find the new location. So for example, like uh, Silicon, yeah, uh, tech, tech company yeah they hire uh, indian yeah uh, computer engineers yeah why because it's cheaper and then they can uh, like in the computer engineers and everything they can just work yeah uh, what do you call that uh, work from home yeah the engineers they can just prepare yeah, they can just formulate yeah all this uh, what do you call that the uh, the process or maybe the and then the coding itself, and then you can sell to the company, yeah, for security purposes or maybe whatever lah. Okay, so they can do it in in India. So they can have yeah, for example, the computer yeah software engineering yeah in a very cheap amount in India. So that's why, or maybe in uh, one uh, my like my brother is actually working uh, because he's actually a programmer, so he works in Malaysia, but the company is actually from Brazil. Yeah, so that is actually how yeah people nowadays is easily for them yeah to work based from Malaysia and then they are working in the international company. But of course, uh, yeah, the the working time is not the same lah. That means you have to work malam yeah work at two o'clock in the morning until yeah I think he started from uh ten o'clock nine o'clock and then until morning itself yeah. Like, like us, we're working, yeah, they like, they are working, they are vampire, they are working at night. Yeah, because of the, uh, yeah, time, the spaces, I mean, the differences of time, Malaysia and also other countries. Okay, so uh, that is, uh, I mean, the whole thing about this uh, green field, yeah, is actually about to uh, intellectual properties, right, in the emerging com uh, economy. They are not well protected and the numbers of firms in industry is growing fast and they need to have the international or global uh, integration is actually very hard. So this is an issue of intellectual property. So the issue of intellectual pro pro property is actually, for example, like the brand of coach, the handbag coach. Sometimes the IP is actually only secured in that particular uh, countries. So that's why sometimes they cannot have the uh, issues, yeah. For example, in certain countries, so but of course they need to have a very good lawyer, yeah. Because you have to bear in mind, in intellectual property, yeah, is actually meant for that particular geographical area. But if in other countries want to use coach, they are allowed so because it's, they are not the law is not exactly is not uh bind in that particular country. So it's very difficult. That's why it's very difficult to control counterfeit counterfeited product all over the world. Yeah, because of the issue. Yeah, geographical area. Yeah, geographical uh rights. That's the major issue. Until now, we still have the issues of this. Yeah, but they can bring. Yeah, that uh, they can bring the issues internationally. Yeah, but of course you need to have a very good lawyer. Yeah, good lawyer in IP. So same goes like in Malaysia. If you can Google Mac Curry and also McDonald, yeah, Mac Curry, M C C U R R Y, Mac Curry versus McDonald, yeah. Uh, back on nineteen eighties was eighties was nineties like that. So the Mac Curry is actually in Jalan Ipoh. It's a restaurant. So they use the particular Mac only, but they won. But they're, I think they won about ten thousand because they have a very, uh, not established IP lawyer. Yeah, Malaysia, we do we uh in Singapore we have a lot of this IP lawyer itself who are actually very established. Yeah. In Malaysia, maybe still lacking yeah, of this IP lawyer itself. Yeah, so they won because MACD they are uh, they secured the logo by using MCD, yeah, D. Yeah, so the they are actually safe because of the Mac curry itself. Uh, so that is actually something about the green field, yeah, about the breach, the breaching of the intellectual property itself in emerging countries. Yeah. Okay. So I think uh, I give you this. Yeah. So my question, I purposely don't want to give you question because this is actually I retrieved from the internet. So they will definitely you can copy. Yeah. Exactly from Pressbook. Yeah. Uh, www.pressbook.something. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, Zippo, you know Zippo lah, the lighter. Eh? So Zippo is actually, they try to diversify their business. Yeah, because Zippo is actually uh, some ruggedness, yeah, rugged yeah, kind of uh, product, yeah, durable, made from America, iconic brand, yeah, Zippo. So they invest in, uh, you know, uh, you read this lah, yeah, they want to invest something which is unrelated to their business. Yeah. So uh, this brand has fuel, yeah, 80 years, eight, sorry, 80 years, 80 eh, of success of the firm, but the future of the lighter business is bleak, yeah, because of yeah, this is just something which is not everybody can have Zipola for that matters. Yeah, you can just buy lighter from uh Kedarunjit or maybe from 7 Eleven at the at the amount of one ringgit fifty cent or two ringgit, yeah. So Zippo executive expect to sell about 12 million of lighters this year. This year means that particular year lah, yeah, in 90s, which is 50% decline from Zippo sales level in 1990s. Yeah, 50% is a lot, you know. 50% yeah, is a lot. So this downward trend is likely to continue as smoking becomes less and less attractive in many countries. Yeah, because yeah, people are concerned about you know all these health issues. To save the company, Zippo executive want to diversify. So in 2011, Zippo was examining wide variety of markets which is brand include to be leveraged, including watches, clothing, wallet, pants, liquor, flasks, yeah, outdoor, and plain gas grill and cologne. They fail, yeah? they fail their business. So my question to you, if you were to be the executive, yeah, executive of Zippo, with the legacy of 80 years iconic American brand. I want you to think about related relation to a diversification. So think not, you have to think as a Zippo. Okay, number one, you have your legacy of 80 years. Number two, you are assembles of iconic, rugged kind of symbol. If you don't know Zippo, this is Zippo. So I will give you uh, the, the gamba of Zippo. Those men tahu lah, yeah. But maybe for ladies, we don't know Zippo. Okay, like me, I know Zippo because yeah, during coating with my husband, I give Zippo to him. Yeah, because my husband is a uh, uh it's a chain smoker. Okay, so this is a Zippo lighter. Sejap, yeah, say tunjuk for the perempuan one if you don't know Zippo. Zippo ni dia ada bunyi tau ting. Ah, tu yang sedap dengar tu eh. Dia ada classic punya uh, sound. So you can grave your name, you can grave whatever lah. You can. Ah, this is Zippo. Ni Zippo punya iconic. ya yeah, American iconic. Macam uh, Swiss brand ni lah. Macam pisau Swiss tu kan. Yang lipat-lipat. Hmm, this is actually the iconic. Okay, so nampak ni. Okay, sekarang ni you have to think like the executive of Zippo. I want you to think of, you cannot find this uh, jawapan in uh, internet. You know me lah, yeah? Ah, the clicking sound, yeah? I I, I have this in, uh, in from you, uh, from the internet, okay? But my question is, if you ought to be the executive, yeah, of Zippo, executive, so just see sweet lah, you know, exec, bukan, you jangan nero dah executive tu pangkat-pangkat clock semua, yeah? Yeah, executive tu maksudnya dia adalah C-suite. You know what's a C-suite? They mean the top management. Sometimes they call it executive also at that particular, yeah. The C-suite, yeah. S-U-I-T-E. So now I want you to think, within how many minutes? Sekarang dah plus yeah. Within 15 minutes, fikir apa you nak jual which is related to Zippo punya legacy and the ruggedness. Okay, 15 minutes. You start, uh, Put the chatting, uh, top C suites. Okay. Uh, okay, normally they call it. They tak cakap lah. Ada orang bagi top C suite, tapi uh, vape boleh juga. Okay, so boleh fikir eh, apa yang dia nak jual. Okay, so I give you fifteen minutes, starting from now. Vape bilat sikit sama lah tu. Okay, selain daripada, okay, wait, okay, good, good, yeah. So, apa lagi? Selain daripada, I want something which is 
If like I used to be, if I have the angel investors, I have millions of dollars. Yeah, not ringgit yeah, million of dollars. I want to, yeah, I want to. Uh, if let's say you give me something which is good, I want to, I want to invest in you. Ah, uh, something like that. So think of how. Yeah, you have to make sense. Like don't simply type. Okay, you have to make sense. That means it can sell. It have. It can be sellable. It can be have the iconic. Like the ruggedness just now. It can be, uh, for example, it can be blast to all over the world. Think of something. Okay, siapa yang baru masuk tu, tolonglah tulis nama. Yeah. Ha, betul. Not to say to unavoid. No, don't get me wrong, Zul. Unrelated books, kadang-kadang dia berjaya juga. Kadang-kadang dia berjaya juga. Tapi ada banyak juga yang unrelated business yang tak berjaya. Ha, contohnya macam Zippo ni. So I want you to think. Guys, sellable guys. Sellable. I don't want to have antique-antique one. I don't want to have the archive-archive. Contoh akib-akib punya barang saya tak mau. Sellable. I can sell for millions. Yeah, For example like smartphone. I want to have that. Ha, fire starter. Okay. Oh, rokok. Rokok. Kan tadi dia cakap rokok dah kurang orang orang ni. It's actually stated in the in the design. Yeah, so many people now less smoking. Nampak tu? Kenapa you nak jual rokok lagi? Hello, kenapa you all bagi unrelated ya? Kita ni nak related. Related. Related to Zippo. Why you give me all unrelated one? Kedai baju lah. Yeah. Related one. Ha, okay, vape tu okey lah. Lain-lain-lain. Vape dah banyak sangat orang orang jual. Hooker hawk. Hmm, boleh? Store. Tapi in a very big quantity. I don't want to have small quantity one. Lighter. Zippo tu lighter. <laughs> Zippo tu lah lighter. Ha, shisha. Okay, lagi? No, shisha also is actually category of cigarette, you know. So now people is actually less... Having lasting impact on the cigarette, smoking, vape tu semua. Saya tak mau. Yeah, smoking become less and less attractive. So saya tak mau vape, saya tak mau alcohol, eh, saya tak mau shisha semua saya tak nak. Itu is consider uh, smoking also. Ha, just be lighter. Just be lighter pun dah banyak. Hmm, form deco. Ah, okay, fire extinguisher boleh terima pakai. Sigar pun tak boleh, smoking. Lamp. <laughs> Zippo coffee. <laughs> Portable stove. Okay, can be considered. Scented candle. Oh. Okay, pek lah you all. Ha, okay, bagus juga. Ha, Zippo pepper spray. Yeah, to spray to your eyes. Grooming kits. Tak ada lagi. I'm, I'm looking for those who I can, I can invest. I'm the angel investor. Nampu gantung. <laughs> Buat ngaji malam-malam. Kalau you mengaji lah. Camping kit. Zippo winter west. Zippo water bottle. Okay. Boleh. Okay lagi. Uh, five more minutes. Lepas tu saya tutup pintu. No. I want to have. Okay. Now it's unrelated. Because unrelated. You're on the field. Okay, sekarang ni saya nak related. Janganlah letak pasal bodoran lah, minyak wangi lah, minyak urut lah. I don't want. Something which is related to Zippo punya nature of business. Sebab unrelated because Zippo ni, dia punya tu is just, you know, is actually quite niche. So saya nak sekarang ni cari something which is related. I don't want to have unrelated because unrelated sudah sudah kalah mah. You have to go outside of the box tau. So. Jangan fikir pasal, oh, Zippo, lighter, api. Apa lagi yang dia boleh guna pakai? Sebab dia guna pakai dia punya butin gas tu. You know what's the butin? Butin gas tu. Dia pakai butin gas. Uh, Zippo also dia ada butin gas for information. Dia ada refill dia. Yeah. Apa guna? Okay, sekarang ni boleh google lah. Tengok. What is the function of Apa guna butin gas tu? How long they can cook by using the butin gas? Oksigen tank. Hello, Gipo Gaming kat mana? Cik Kairul, baru masuk ke kelas? 
Lain daripada uh, cooker? Lain daripada portable cooker? Lain daripada tu? <laughs> Parah itu much. Okay, so I think I stop here. So majority of you bagi I yang benda yang unrelated one, of course I will fail. Yeah, my business. Yeah, new product boleh lah buat sepuluh. No, I don't want to have unrelated. I want to have related. Ha, mancis tak sipo. You can use this butane gas for negara-negara uh, yang sejuk. Ya, contoh in 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 North Pole or maybe in certain uh, yeah in America certain area is actually very 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 hot. I mean very hot, like very uh, uh, cold. Yeah, in Canada, yeah the North one is actually very cold. So cari cari tu and then use the butane. And use the technology because Zippo have a very good technology on, yeah, on the uh, what do you call that? Kalau lighter lain tu dia boleh cepat dia punya batu tu bagus. You know what's a batu? Batu punya lighter dia ada light dia ada batu kan? Right? So that batu is actually is actually very useful. Ah, you can use that heater. This is what I want. Nampak tak? Ah, seorang saya dah boleh invest dalam satu business already. So the butane, yeah, butane is used for to fuel the car. Or butane can use for what? Untuk memanaskan. You need to understand the understanding of butane. You need to understand the understanding of the batu tu. Batu dekat uh, Zippo tu ada batu tau. Sometimes you have to replace the batu. Sometimes you have to replace the butane. So use this kind of thing, yeah, to have the what product that you want to sell related to Zippo. Uh, Zippo ion gas. Okay, untuk salai. Okay, Zippo fire starter. Ha, fire starter kan? So I buy for Iwan saya saya nak invest. Yeah, gas bike. Butin boleh pakai gas bike ke? Untuk untuk bike, untuk bikers, untuk ni. Okay, so ah macam ni lah. Yeah, how you have to imagine that how you need to push something which is un, uh, something which is you feel that unrelated to kalah yeah you cannot you fail already and then you can think of ah gps lighter boleh juga yeah gps lighter with the gps yeah because if you are in the forest deep inside forest definitely sometimes you you need to have gps yeah of course you need zippo also can have for example yeah they use the butane and also they use the batu tu you know if you assemble out all this uh, zippo kan dia ada ya yeah, dia ada dia punya butane lepas tu dia ada dia punya batu lepas tu dia ada dia punya kapas lepas tu dia ada dia punya for example the how to uh, the fire starter maybe that batu tu adalah fire starter lah uh, so butane can have uh, sorry butane pula zippo can have this to make it ya yeah, to uh, have this fire starter whereby it comes together with the butane Ya, yeah, maksudnya in a very big or maybe it's for bigger, ya, yeah, bigger uh, use itself. They can cook, for example, ya, yeah, macam uh, kalau kita bawa portable tu, dia kena bawa dia kena bawa gas sekali, ya. Yeah. Portable kadang-kadang kalau you ada portable cooker, you have to buy the gas. So you maybe Zippo can have the stove together with the particular batu dia, yeah, the fire starter and also the butane itself, ya. Yeah. So maybe they can invest on that. Yeah, for example, just now, uh, uh, what they call that, someone who actually said that, yeah, but, uh, Zippo also can invest in sauna tu mengarut lah. Yeah, maybe in a lighter, in GPS, yeah, together with the GPS. That means they are the three in one. They have the lighter, they have the uh, butane, they have the fire starter, and also they have the batu tu is actually fire starter. Batu tu, you, kalau you nampak kan, you have to buy, if you have Zippo, you have to buy the batu tu. Batu tu is a fire starter. Yeah, fire starter. Okay, so they can push that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, open laundry, hmm, laundry dryer, studio. Uh, itu, itu unrelated. Saya nak related, saya nak related, saya tak nak orang menyanyi Zippo punya masuk ke Zippo punya studio. Saya tak mau. saya want to have the related one. Okay. So guys, I think um, you you now you understand lah what's the meaning of uh, you know unrelated related geographical yeah. So this is actually why 
I want you to push yourself. Yeah. Sometimes it's not easy to run a business, whereby even though it's actually 80 years ago, but it's actually is a niche business. Depot ni is a niche. So sepatutnya, yeah, they have to already started long ago because when the fame is there, Zippo, the name, the fame is there, they can push there forever lah. You, you cakap tadi sauna lah, yeah, whatever lah. They can, but it's too late now. It's already 2011. Yeah. Kalau you tolak 80 tahun, at that time, dia orang kena diversify their business already. Yeah. They have business. So when you they have the fame, contohnya, you have to diversify your business. But after 80 years, baru you nak tiba-tiba, yeah, have the fame agak susah. Sebab orang punya needs dah berubah. So that's why when I teach, when I ask you about, okay, kalau uh, Zippo ni apa dia punya related? Yang macam-macam you bagi. Because it's very difficult. Yeah. So you can think of stove lah. Stove. Maksudnya dia punya dapur yang portable tu yang boleh masuk. Orang boleh pergi dekat pantai, boleh pergi dekat hutan. Yeah. Tapi portable tu you kena beli gas dia. Yeah. So they have to think for example maybe the way of how yeah the butane they can compress the butane to be, uh, to become a capsule ke, to become something lah yeah to make sure that it's easy to they can bring to the to pantai or maybe to the forest itself yeah because li it, it, from liquid it can be dia boleh jadi pepejat yeah this is actually the nature of yeah of uh, from cecair boleh jadi pepejat but it depends because butane dia boleh senang meletup yeah butane dia boleh senang meletup so again you have to study well so maybe they can anchor in portable stove, but yeah, with three in one. So they have the fire starter and they have the butane together. Yeah. So maybe that is exactly how. Yeah. Uh, portable fireplace. Yeah. Uh, Zippo. So because they have the, they have the fire starter. Yeah. They have the fire starter. Tahu tak fire starter tu apa? Yeah. Yeah. Nak spark api tu. Kita kadang-kadang kita letak kayu. Dia tak dia tak menyala sebab kayu tu basah. So sometimes uh, kayu tu belum kering lagi. Yeah? So fire starter tu akan membuatkan kita bakar. Yeah? So when uh, when they have this, it will definitely, it will spark the fire. 